I need a more permanent mount for this deal here because my cord keeps pulling it. Hold on. There. There. That ought to be better. What's up, kids? Top of the morning to you. How are we doing? Where's my, where's my pencil? Couldn't find my pencil. Oh, that in. Here we go. Uh, right, what's today's day? 4 3 24. Kids, I'm not going to lie. I'm not. It's not my nature. We're way behind on people. We're way behind on people. Um, I've done the math today. Hang on a second. Hang on just a minute. Let's do it. <clears throat> How many weekdays are there between now and the 4th of July? This is going to be depressing a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so that is today. Okay. And we're going to go to July 4th. And click. There's only 92 days left between now and the 4th of July, weekdays, days that I do my normally regularly scheduled program. And uh, thank you very much, New Go Nikki. It's just E. Carol Thompson. Guys, the team bracelets and all of that stuff really helps. Don't forget the Daily Heart Me right up there, the little orange heart next to my name. We have a, mil a goal of 1 million likes every single uh, live stream during the week. Thank you for the couch potato. Go, lady, go. Not for everyone. Thank you. Trina Self, Mark. Linda Watley, thank you for your hard work and safe travels tomorrow. Thank you so very much. It's very kind of you. And it's kind of you to even remember. Um, I need to look real quick and see how many we have. We have 741.1. So let's call it, uh, that'd be what, 59, 58.9, 258.9, 258 and uh, we need to get in 92 days. So let's go to the handy dandy calculator. 258 point. Oh, shoot. Eight, uh, 900. Divided by 92 days. We have to get 2,800 new followers per day 2800 y'all and we've been falling short these last few days aunt's bed was amazing the other day so we need 2800 new new folks today all right so we got to make that happen uh how do we do that well the first thing we do is tap the little screen those of you on uh and i'm talking about tiktok Sorry. um tiktok uh requires 2,800 people for us to get to our goal of 1 million followers by the 4th of July so that we can have one hell of a fireworks uh, kind of party. You think fireworks is, you think you've seen fireworks? You have not seen fireworks. Just saying. So anyway, uh, we got to get that done today. We got to get our numbers up because I'm going to be out Thursday and Friday. I'll be back on Monday for the normally scheduled program. I will be going live, uh, but it will not be the normal scam dating stuff because I'm going to be at TikTok headquarters this week. Uh, we're going to be there on Friday. We're traveling tomorrow. We're going to be in Times Square tomorrow, uh, hanging out there in the hotel right there in Times Square. And uh, we're going to be uh, at TikTok offices. I'll be doing a game show. I'll be participating in another game show. It's kind of a, it's a battle deal. All the money that I make on the battles, cue the haters, all the money I make in the battles, it's going to go to the charity. Uh, I did a battle the other night. I did a game show and then a battle. Uh, it's kind of one of the things that we're doing for this in prep for this trip to um, TikTok headquarters and uh, all of that money. I don't know exactly how much it was. I'd have to go back and look at the, the total. I'm going to have plenty of time on the plane to do that. Uh, all of that is going to the charity. And we've got, we just got the um, YouTube deposit and so on. So there's going to be a fair amount of money going to the charity. The charity, what charity, Doc? The charity about which I'm speaking, to which I am referring 
is called intelligenceforgood.org. You finally got your Tumblr. Awesome, John. I'm glad you got it, buddy. Um, you got a Ruck Fobel Calls Tumblr. Available at ruckfobelcalls.com. Same as the hats and all the shirts and sweatshirts and all that stuff. Go check it out. Um, the I totally forgot what the hell I was saying. Oh, intelligenceforgood.org. Thank you, uh, Lynn, for pinning that. Um, intelligenceforgood.org. It's a registered 501c3 nonprofit organization that helps scam victims and their families uh, recover money, crypto, accounts, privacy, dignity, etc. cetera. Um, Ruckfobocalls.com is where you get the gear. Um if you don't give a scam, we don't give a ruck. Huh? Clever. Are you making songs? Are you making lyrics? Ruck Fobel Calls actually has a trademark pending. So just so y'all know. Uh, don't make me do the lawyer thing on you. Please don't make me do the lawyer thing. I promise I don't want to. Um, but yeah, so we got a lot going on. Hang on. I got. I forgot I can plug you guys into the microphone so you have the good sound. Hold on. Whoop. There we go. Now the sound is going to be better. So tap, tap, tippity tap, yo, screens is. Uh, if you have not done so yet, you need to go follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscriptions are a different thing here than they are over there. Subscriptions, we're live on YouTube too, by the way. Hi, all my YouTube friends. Love y'all, all you people in people land. Um, the, the reason we do that is uh, threefold. Number one, if big picture anything should cataclysmic happen to TikTok, uh, then that's going to be the backup. That's going to be the go-to. That's number one. Number two, if anything happens during individual live stream, like uh, the AI moderation says, wait a minute, what did he say? And then and the live it says, this live has been discontinued. That means TikTok did it, not me. Don't Please don't message me and say, what happened? Because I'm not going to answer you because I get 50 of those after every single live stream on top of the other 200 messages I get uh, about whatever. If it says discontinued, that doesn't mean you were blocked. It doesn't mean that you are muted. It will tell you if you are blocked or muted. Okay. So just so you know. Um, but if it says discontinued, that means TikTok. And if that's the case, all I got to do is switch over to YouTube and there you are right there front and center, ready to go. And you continue watching. The show must continue. All right. Um, also, there's literally thousands of hours of material on YouTube archived. All of the live streams, like if you just found me yesterday or day before or something last week, you're like, wait, I, but I want more. All you have to do is go to YouTube. It's all there. Click on the live tab and you can go back like a hundred days. That's like three and a half months for those of you that are not proficient at math. Uh, like maybe you came from certain states. I'm not going to say any. Don't worry. Because <laughs> I don't need any more controversy up in here. Um, but yeah, so you need to do that. So please do that. Okay. Um, tapping the screen gets us to the, to, to the 1 million mark in an hour. That helps us. We're already uh, ranking. Uh, well, I thought we were in the popular. Are we in the popular yet? Probably not yet. We, we just kind of got started, but that's all right. Oh, no, we're popular. We're the 31st most popular in the country right now. Uh, that's largely because of those team bracelets. Um, cheer you up. Somebody remind me what they are. I don't even know. Sushi. Mm, that's good, Kimberly. I've never seen that. Thank you. Uh, all of those team bracelets help. Watch that number. See, now we just went to 29. And like here in a couple of minutes, or probably a few seconds, it'll go up even further. That's because of all those little things. Uh, for those of you that don't gift, please do not think that my mentioning gifts means that you have to do that to be here. I love you just the same. I want you here just as much as anything, because for me, this is about awareness. And the more eyes we have on the content, the more aware people become, the more awareness we spread. So I'm just as happy that you're here, tapping on the screen for free, sharing the live, with your friends, family members, coworkers, people that you like, love, or vaguely care about, uh, particularly those that fall into one of two categories, either the um, elderly or the 
youth, okay? Your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, elderly neighbors that you check in on from time to time. Make sure that they're at least aware of what I'm doing here every day. Um, they may or may not like my content because it does get a little spicy sometimes, but I'd rather them be a mildly offended because I said something spicy or one of the scammers said something spicy or the content is a little too much for them than for them to lose their life savings and possibly your inheritance. Okay. Uh, the same is true for the youth. Middle school, they got a cell phone. You need to be watching, making sure that they're uh, aware that these kinds of scams exist and know the telltale signs, know how to avoid them, uh, the, the scams and so on, and make certain above all else that they know not to ever let anyone take control of their phone, their tablet, their desktop computer, their um, game consoles. Yes, those can be problematic. Even TVs can be hacked if they're connected to the internet, believe it or not. Uh, and it's happening more frequently than a lot of people realize. Um, there's a woman that I talked to today. We're going to talk a little bit. I, I, I just want to touch on this. This woman sent me a message today and I'm not going to say her name and I'm not, I'm not going to reveal who she is, but I am going to kind of give you the ballpark uh, of what she said. Uh, as a matter of fact, she just messaged me. Um, she and I'm hoping she's watching right now. She if if she is, she knows exactly that I'm talking about her. She sent me a message today, um, and said, you know, I'm one of the people who doesn't want to admit they've been scammed, but I'm a victim. Can you please give a resource for the company? Blah blah blah. So, um, you know, the company again, the 501c3 is intelligenceforgood.org. And she said it was a romance scam that started seven years ago uh, and lasted for a year when I finally woke up. Now, I will tell this person that seven years ago, the odds of you getting anything back are zero. It's just not going to happen. It's been too long. Uh, the sooner, more, more recently, something has been taken from you, the more likely it is that there is some recourse, that you'll be able to do something uh, or even track the person down longer than that. And it just gets crazy. The longer you go, the harder it becomes. And she said that she met this person on a match. He said he was in the army, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm guessing she's now heard me and understands, uh, you know, there were boxes being checked one by one, uh, sent him money, bought, uh, I cards for almost a year. I met him just after I'd had a bad breakup. We talked about that when people are emotionally vulnerable, loss of a loved one, particularly a romantic relationship. They've lost a, a spouse or uh, a partner or a, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, something like that. Um, so I was vulnerable and oblivious to what was happening. And um, she, I, I asked, do you know where he is? Absolutely not. He lied to me about everything. So I have no idea. He said he was in Malaysia at one point, then another country, which I don't even remember. Red flag, red flag. They're foreign. Right. And um, I said, if you could offer anyone in your position from back then, um, any advice, what would it be? And she shared some. Now, I'm not going to talk about that yet because I said, question, would you be willing to take a call for me 100 percent anonymously and tell the story during my live stream? I want, I want people to hear it from the horse's mouth. It was me. Now, again, I, I told her, I, I promised her complete anonymity. Um, if, if we don't do it live, if, for example, and I'm assuming right now, I'm hoping that she's listening right now. Even if we don't do it live, I'd like to have it offline. And then I can alter your voice and uh, do what I need to do to make it to where you remain even more anonymous. Uh, no one's going to know your voice in all likelihood, uh, hopefully. It's way harder to edit that if I have to do that, but we can do it if we need to. Uh, and, and she said she'd think about it. So I, I certainly hope that we have that. I'm also going to extend that offer to pretty much anybody else that wants to come in and tell their story. Um, I'll probably talk to you over the phone first. And then if you'd like to tell it live, we can do that. If you'd like to tell it uh, privately and let me record it, uh, I'd be more than willing to do that too. And, you know, give you 10 minutes to kind of tell your story and, and what happened. And then also too, what advice you would give somebody uh, who finds himself in the position that you were in or currently are in or whatever. Um, and, you know, it'll be difficult. This woman 
said it was, you know, one of the most difficult points of my life. And I'd have to rehash the whole thing. And here's what I say. Jordan DeMay's mother. Okay. Jen DeMay. Uh, she's married now. Her last name is different now, but uh, Jordan DeMay's mother. Uh, she had to come on and tell the story. And it's very difficult. And a couple of days ago was the two year anniversary of him taking his own life because he was sex sorted on Instagram. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, there is, I can tell you from experience that there is an element of catharsis in sharing that story. There is an element of healing in knowing that by sharing that story, you might be saving someone. And that feeling becomes addictive. And you're going to want to tell the story more and more and more. I'm, I, I'm relatively certain of that. So um, if anybody out there has dealt with that, they've got taken. And I don't mean like a one-off deal. I mean a romance scam where you had the military guy who was a pilot who further. And, you know, guys, I'm telling you, I'm pretty good at picking these out. Not 100%, but I'm pretty good at picking these out. And, you know, we had one that was in my live stream with Vanessa uh, on Saturday night, the Cocktails with the Comptons. And I immediately saw this guy. And, like, I saw his profile, clicked on it, and I was like, yeah, this guy's a total scammer, right? Well, I was in another creator's live, another scam baiter's live the other day, and this same guy, I, because I blocked him immediately because I recognized it, same creator, <laughs> was in another guy's live. And I went in there and I told the mods, I was like, this guy's a scammer. You need to get him out of here because he's targeting the women that are in your live stream right now. And sure enough, you know, he was doing the exact same thing. Uh, these guys are out there. They're very prolific. They're very successful at what they do. Okay. So uh, just be vigilant, stay vigilant. If you don't meet them, in real life, if you don't get to talk to them via voice, you don't get to FaceTime with them, okay? And I, let's break it down fundamentally, guys. Men are visual. Women are emotional. Men are visual. If you're having a romantic relationship with a guy who never wants to video chat with you, just say it. Keep it in mind, okay? And if you have friends, family members, coworkers, again, that might be in that situation, you suspect. I had another woman message me today or uh, last night and said that her it's either her mom or her grandma, I think it's her mom, uh, is convinced that she's in love with some Canadian star. I didn't know the guy's name, but she's absolutely enamored with this guy and believes in her absolute heart of hearts that this man is in love with her and that she has been sending him money repeatedly for an extended period of time. And then it turned into Bitcoin stuff. And now money is coming into her account and the kids can't figure it out. They're setting her up. I'm telling you. So stay vigilant, boys and girls. Stay vigilant. Um, we are almost halfway uh, to our 1 million likes goal already uh, just with me and my inane blather. We're going to start making calls here in just a minute. Uh, but I wanted to kind of get that out and talk to you guys. Um, the, the content, you know, I've had several people ask me to make some content about identifying scammers. Um, if only because, and I'm committed to that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start shooting some of it while I'm in New York. Uh, because it's a cool backdrop. And I'm going to talk about the romance scams, male, romance scams, female. I'm going to talk about crypto uh, stuff, the Bitcoin stuff, you know, all those, whatever. I'm going to show you some signs to spot. And I'm, I'm torn about this one because do I really want to tell the scammers how I know they're scammers? Because all I'm doing is inviting more... Um, <coughs> <laughs> skilled scammers uh, to come and mess with me and follow me. Uh, by the way, the dot content 05, uh, I don't remember if this was yesterday that I showed this to you guys, uh, but that dot content 05, the one that was very aggressively uh, sending people requests for money, okay, using my name, the dot content, and then just putting 05 at the end of it, and then having my same profile picture up there. 
Thank you to my attorney. That account is now gone. It's banned. It had 41.6 thousand followers. How did I get so many? They scammed somebody out of their account and then just changed the name in the photo. Wiped all of their old content and put mine on there. Went and downloaded all of my, well, they can't download it. They screen recorded all of my content and then just put it up there. So it looks exactly like mine, or it did anyway. But now it's gone, thanks to my attorney. We've had about 30 some odd accounts removed. I don't know the exact number. I'll, I'll have that in the not too distant future. We had a Telegram account shut down that was the dot Compton. Uh, we've had a number of Instagram accounts. There's an Instagram account called track the dot Compton. And it's supposed to be like, I, I will track down your scammers on Instagram, not here. It's not me but it's using my photo and all this kind of stuff. So now I'm going to just be monitoring uh, all of these platforms constantly for this kind of stuff. I don't have any choice. Um, and, you know, that's a big part of my job is protecting you guys, my actual followers, my viewers um, from these scammers. These guys follow me, not because they're going to scam me. They follow me because they want to scam you. And they will convince you that they're, they're me. People ask me, I took a lot of heat for that goofy post that I made on Saturday about, you know, there's nothing that follows me except bots and, you know, people from foreign countries that I know are scammers. Right. And oh my, oh my God, people were offended. They're like, I'm not a bot. I'm like, no, dude, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what is now following me, what is like following me new follows every day are scammer accounts and bots. Okay, that, that's what I was saying. I know you're a real person from Indiana or California, or I, I know you've been in my lives. You've sent gifts and you've tapped the screen and you've done all the things you've commented on. I know you're real. I'm talking about the new followers every day. If I wanted to be a million followers, I could get there much quicker by simply not deleting 200 to 500 followers a day that are just scammers out to steal from you. But it's not, I'm not so focused on a million that I don't pay attention to what the whole purpose of this is. And that's preventing you guys from getting scammed. So uh, if you see people in there making those kinds of comments, there's one lady that just was relentless and was like making comments on everybody else's comments. And there were like, I don't know how many there are now. It's like 1,700 comments on that. And not the response I was looking for. But it was good because it did kind of identify a bunch of accounts as real, you know, uh, and and puts them back and puts me back on their FYP a little bit through the algorithm, recognizing that they engage with my content. So that it was a win. Uh, but I didn't want people to misunderstand. I literally had to block someone the other day. They're like, he's paying for the bots himself. What? 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 Are you me right now? What? So finally, after they did this and did this, and I took a long time to go in and explain to this person, no, goober. One of their big things is you never follow anybody back. And I'm like, you are correct. Because the number one way I tell people to know that it's not me is because I don't follow people back now. I can't anymore. Because if I do... The other 740,000 people get pissed. Why didn't you follow me? And I can only follow 10,000. That's number one. How do I pick the 10,000? Number two, if I'm not following anybody back, everybody knows that if they get a follow from an account that's supposedly me, they know it's fake. Now they found that suspect. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry. You were the child that got left behind. You're the reason for that rule. But, you know, so please understand. That's why my DMs are open. There's literally no advantage to me following you. Literally none. I don't get to go through and like other people's stuff. I don't get to watch TikTok because I'm too busy creating TikTok and putting it out there and educating and informing and doing all of that part. So I don't get to just sit around like I used to three years ago and just scroll mindlessly like everybody else gets to and have a good time with it. 
you know, people say, have you seen the TikTok that? No. I already know the answer to that. I haven't seen it. Unless it was from three years ago, in which case I might have, you know. Uh, you can message me. You can absolutely message me. If you think you can't message me, send it. Now, if, if we're not friends, you can only send me three messages. But if you send me a message request, and I'm confident that you have an actual real account, I will respond. Okay. If you send me a hand emoji waving, I'm not going to respond to that. I don't have time for that. I, I just don't. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. But I, I can't I do that hundreds of times a day. If you come to me and say, hey, I have a question about your content from yesterday. I have a question about the TikTok you posted this evening. Okay. I have a question. What is the website where I can get the kit? What is the website where I can get the merch? Where is the website where if I want to go make a donation directly to the charity you talk about, what is that? If I want to get uh, an attorney that might be able to help me with a TCPA claim, how do I find that? I'll respond to that every time without fail. There are people that um, message me because they haven't gotten their bracelet yet. I may not respond. But what I do is I take that and I move it to the top so that I know who all is has sent me messages saying they haven't got them yet. When I get back from live or uh, from live fest, when I get back from New York, I'm going to begin working on the next batch of mailers going out. And it's going to be a totally different thing at that point. And everybody's going to get them at that point. Uh, the foreign, uh, the people that are in Canada and overseas have not gotten anything yet. I have not gotten any back. Of all of the ones that I sent out, this is what they look like. I don't want to show somebody's address, but this is what they look like. And it sent a deal back that said return to sender. Okay. That's the only one. that I, That is the one that I've gotten back out of hundreds that I've sent out. Comes in, nice little deal like here. It's got the bracelet in it, and it's got the little note in there. Hand signed by yours truly and stuffed meticulously for hours and hours and hours by me and my beloved wife who helped me one day. Okay. I'll get some, I'll get them out. Don't worry. So um, if you want to send me screenshots of stuff, the easiest way to probably do that is to send it either to my Instagram or you can send it to Rock Fobo Calls. But I'm going to tell you, I get hundreds of emails every day. There's no way I can get to them all. So if you don't, get a response or something like that, send me a message on such and such on, on one of the other platforms and say, Hey, I sent you an email. It came from this address. Here's what it's about. Okay. And then I'll try to find it if it's super, super important or whatever. All right. That was fantastic the other day. Well, that's good. I'm glad you liked her. My wife is precious. So, Okay. Uh, the bracelets are for charter members on YouTube. That's where you actually join and you pay a monthly deal or subscribers on TikTok. Okay. Meaning you pay whatever the monthly is on for TikTok. Okay. That's who gets them. Um, I am trying to set up a deal with my uh, uh, fulfillment centers where I can send them a big glob of the bracelets and every order that goes out, they can just include one in it. So, um, but that's a process to try to get working. Uh, is my wife going to do a cooking video? Uh, she does it. She did one last night. She made an amazing thing last night. It was really cool. I don't know if she made TikTok about it, but uh, in any case, you should go and check it out. Um, you should check out her lives usually around five o'clock. Uh, we're going out of town, so she's not cooking a whole lot right now. So love, love, love your content. I love, love, love you. Self destruct three, two, one. All right. Um, sh shall we make some calls? Because I've talked a lot already, uh, but it was important. There was a lot I needed to say. Okay. We're going to New York. We're going to TikTok headquarters. We've been invited uh, to go with our agency to New York, Manhattan. Oh, did somebody say something? 
<clears throat> Did somebody say something ugly? Yeah, it was the, it's like a, almost like a pizza crust, but it had chicken in it. Uh, if you are a paid subscriber, send me a message and I'll, uh, if you, and you have not gotten a bracelet yet. Okay. Um, try to include if you have filled out the form yet or not, if you're like, what form, if you don't know the form, you haven't filled it out yet. Um, my wife's page is the Vanessa Compton, just like mine. Uh, waiting for a heart transplant. Wow. All right. So uh, shall we make some calls? Um, yes. Uh, do me a favor. Those of you that are watching right now, is there anybody new? Anybody who has not followed me yet? If so, please say me right now. Good. Click the follow button. All of you that have just now typed me, absolutely need to click the follow button right now. Do it now. Don't wait. Time is running out. It's a limited time offer. Do it. Do it now. Don't don't hate yourself tomorrow. Just hurry. Okay. Uh, and again, follow the YouTube channel. This is it. Ruck Fobo Calls. Um, because the AI moderation is kind of on me right now, what I'm probably going to have to do if the calls get too spicy, I may actually have to mute TikTok. I know, just for the parts where the guys start talking and saying really filthy things, uh, which means that you're not going to get to hear it live unless you also have YouTube. <coughs> <coughs> now, I'll still make content out of it after the fact, but you'll get to hear the censored version. Um, if you want to hear the real life version, unedited, uh, you know, let's go back over to the what you call it. All right. Uh, let's start making some calls. Enough of my inane weather. Ready? Ooh. I got my hair cut. It's super short, uh, but it's going to look good when it's all made up. Houston, we have a problem. All right. Are we... Ooh. Can y'all hear that? That feedback? Can y'all hear that at all when I do that? Yep. Okay, you can. Huh, interesting. It's funny because y'all don't hear it when I disconnect it and it makes that god awful noise and it just about deafens me. All righty then. Let's get after it. Let's see what we've got. I have 22,371 emails uh, in the old mailbag today. Let's see if we've got any good ones. The very first one comes from Christy B. Uh, the email, if you have those uh, scam emails, they need to be from today. I'm not even going to say 24 hours anymore. They need to have today. Uh, that is April 3rd. Uh, they need to have a phone number in it. Don't send me something that just has a button to click because what am I going to do? That doesn't make for good video or audio. All right. Uh, we've got ourselves some McAfee, and it's an 812 number. And let's make some magic happen, boys and girls. Here we go. Thank you for calling PayPal. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I got some weird email that came to me sometime this morning, uh, pretty early. Say mm -hmm. something. This is to inform you that your PayPal account has got charged with $469 for the purchase of McAfee protection for three years. I don't know how this happened, but I didn't ask for this, I, and I didn't authorize it. Nobody asked me. I need to get this canceled okay. and get my money back, please. Can you please help me out with your order number, invoice number, or transaction number? Uh, let's see here. Order number 5517002. Like it's a valid insuring in our system, sir. All right. And as you remember that, like you made a payment $299 for your computer protection from McAfee. In year 2021, sir. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, so that's today in this. That's what it says. So the pre. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So today in this morning, what will be happening? Like the previous services got expired, and you will receive a premium protections from McAfee on the computer. So that is the reason we are sending you that email, and that is a reminder e uh, reminder email. So you want to continue with that services, and you want to cancel. No, I'd like to cancel it, please. Thank you for all, right, all the sir. shares, you guys. If you want to cancel Appreciate your services and refund back your money, we can go ahead and simply providing you the refund form. You just have to submit the form and take the refund as well, all right? So are you sitting next to your computer or laptop so we can give you the form? Uh, yes, sir. I'm sitting here with my laptop right now. And I do believe you are using a Google Chrome internet browser, right? Or Microsoft Edge. Uh, Which no, one? No, it's that Googler one, whatever that one is. Yeah, Google Chrome. It's called Chrome. Open okay, it up. Yeah. All right. It's open. No. All right. Now have a look on the very top. Can you see that there is a white address bar, like a search panel? Uh, yeah, like where I type addresses of the place. Yes, sir. Absolutely right. You need to type over there W W w dot a for america uh -huh. n for nancy okay y for yankee okay d for denmark okay e for edward uh, yeah s for sugar K K for kilogram dot com. Okay, yeah. Any desk, now you have to any desk uh -huh. Is that what it is? Sir? Absolutely right, sir. Okay. Now you need to press on that enter from your keyboard, and now what comes up? Just do let me know, all right? Okay. Well, it takes me to see. Now, what do you see? Uh, so I'm on their website right now. It's like red or kind of orangish red and black and white. It says better software, the smart And choice. underneath, sir, yeah. underneath, can you see that download now, start business trial? Have a look. Uh, business. A, a like interfere business uh, just underneath can you see that but uh, like it download says, now yeah download now give a click on that download now and now okay. what comes up okay well now it's downloaded um uh any desk dot exe dot exe yeah. absolutely right you need to double click and open it up Okay. All right. Now it's uh, no. Now it's you can see your address and the numbers over there. Yes. All right. So that is your cancellation ID number. What do you have to do? You have to confirm with the number in the beginning. All right. Okay. Like you need me to tell you that number. Yep. Yep. You need to tell me the number. Okay. Are you ready? Well, I am ready. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got to get my glasses real quick. Um, Number you need to write it down on the paper and let me know, okay? All right, easy enough. Okay, okay, you write it down on the paper, right? Yes, all right. Now, sir, beside that number, 
can you see that i circle and the lock symbol are in white can you see that uh yes you have to give a click on that lock symbol all right okay all right now it says now what comes up some that say it password all right so i will give you the cancellation password all passwords should be lower case and together all right all right your cancellation password is apple the whole word apple okay a p p l e 1234 you got it yeah and the confirm password is the same thing apple 1234 do not use any upper case all right keep in okay. your mind all right i got it then apply all right now you can see that interactive access on the very top uh yes sir i can and there should be a two of opt uh, three options so you need to uh select the third option which says never show incoming session request can you see that uh yes select that one okay give a click on that you done yes now what do you have to do you have to be handy with a pen in a paper i will give you some information so you need to write it down on the paper all right okay there's some kind of pop up deal popped up on my screen here i don't know what this is this is some about oh, Motor motorola edge something or other and uh i see it it's like a some sort of little chat message or something hello <laughs> me a hacker form to form to hello Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I some okay. Now I see they something come up on the the deal there again. Uh some it says Motorola Edge 40 something. What is this? Well, I don't know, it disappeared again. What okay, okay. Is it? Am I doing I something? To, I, am I doing something wrong? Like I have to give you a call. All right. What do you have to do? Give me a moment. Okay. Well, I I have a question real quick. Uh, light them up, kids. Number posted in the chat over yonder. Uh, it's in the YouTube. I failed to mention that earlier. Uh, you have to be a subscriber for at least five minutes in order to. Uh, Thanks for calling customer support. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I called a minute ago. They some fellow supposed to be helping me. I got some refund uh deal that we was working on, and I don't know what happened. Hello. All right. Can you help me out with the invoice number, sir, so I can pull up your record? Uh, let's say well, there's an order number. Is that what we're looking for? There's an order number let's on. Have that. a look. Yeah, there was some kind of order number on the email. I, I talked to somebody. Yeah, can ago. you help me out with the order number? Yeah, five 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 one seven zero 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 two. Hello. Yes. Hello? Can you hear me sir? Yes, I can. All right. <laughs> so, have you ever used Microsoft subscription before? Well, not that I'm aware of. I, they this made it sound like I did this on purpose and I don't know what on the heck or what in the heck it is. Hello? All right. Yes sir. So are you sitting next to your computer or laptop to cancel this order sir? Yes, I was already talking to somebody he took me to some program and had me to give him some numbers. Okay. And I don't know Okay, now what exactly do you see on your screen sir? Can you tell me? Well, I, there was uh he had me to go to this 
whatever this, hang on, I'm I, any desk. He had me to go to this website and then download mm -hmm. something. And when I downloaded it, it gave me some number. It said it's my address. Now it ain't yeah. my street address. That? Yeah, can you see your address? Yes, yes, I can. All right. You need to confirm me those addresses, sir. Okay. You need to hold on for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Are you do you want it now yeah. or yes, sir? You need to confirm me those addresses. Tiny lock, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Give a click on that lock. All right. It says and set. What do you see? It says set password. Yeah, you need to set a password. The password I'm providing you, you need to put down that password. Okay. Your okay. password is cancel one two three. Okay. C A N C E L one two three. Okay. It will be lowercase and all should be together, okay? Okay. And then yeah. put the same thing down in the confirm deal, right? Correct, correct. All right. And, and then put I put the same password over there. And I clicked on apply there. Yeah, hit on apply. And now what do you see? Matt got that thing that says interactive access, always show all right. income and you sessions. See the third option which can never show. Can you see the third option which says never show? Yes. Give a click on that. Okay. Okay. I, and now what? Now do you see on your screen? Well, there's a chat box looking, Dale, that's popped up there now. It says, it's at the All top right. of it there, it says PC. One nine three one zero zero two one seven five. All right. Now, what exactly do you see on your screen, sir? Well, I just told you. It's like a little chat box. It's like I don't know if I'm supposed to type something. Hang on. Test. Where's the deal here? Yep. You need to Test hold on for a moment, okay? Message. I just type. Well, what in the heck? <laughs> There, I just typed in a test message right now. Do you see it? Well, now it says, sorry, now it's got something that says, can't recession request canceled. I don't know what that is. All right. Oh, uh, he did. He was watching. And it's somebody's Nana getting absolutely rocked by some 25-year-old dude. Uh, for those that are just joining, my name is, uh, my name is Doc. Uh, I bust scammers for a living, and uh, what we're doing right now is calling email scammers that uh, have sent out an email saying that you've been charged for such and such. Oh, no, they're trying to get back in. 
They didn't dislike it that bad. They tried to get in when I wasn't paying attention, and I got them. And I shut off their access again. They could just see. They couldn't do anything. Uh, the video. I've already got the other phone queued up to call them as well. So we'll see what happens. It would seem that their phones no longer work because they've already managed to uh, get so busy so quickly. I got three phones calling them right now and they're not answering any of them. One of them is a Dallas number. One of them is a New York number and one of them is a Texas number. Texas, Atlanta, New York. Yeah, they've just decided not to answer the phone anymore today. And that's a win, kids, and here's why that's a win. Because they sent out this email to all of these people. I was hoping maybe they'd call and cuss me out or something. Um, um, this email got sent out to thousands of people. And there might be... Uh, according to the scammer we talked to yesterday, there might only be five, 10 calls, maybe a day that they actually get to answer. And if we make it so that even those one to 10 calls can't get through because the phones are shut down or so completely flooded that they can't answer, then it's a win. That's how we do what we do. That's why what we do here matters. Guys, if you haven't clicked the follow button yet, what are you waiting on? Hurry up. Do it now. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, what are you doing? Oh, Lord, time is running out. Hurry, do it now. It is a limited time offer. So um, do it now. Don't wait. You're going to absolutely regret it if you don't do it. Uh, and like I said, it, yeah, hurry. Thank you for the galaxy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cheryl Lee and Meow Me, Meow Me, Grandma of Nine. Oh, my. GG, meow, me, meow, Madison, Rye, Ty, Debbie, Sarah, Kathleen. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, we're at 81 in the total ranking. Let's see where we are in the popular rank real quick. I'm waiting for it to scroll across. We already got to a million likes. We're popular number 10, boys and girls. That's pretty dope. We're number 10, and we're only just a, a little smidge behind the next – uh, three people in line. So we're going to do like we normally do, which is end up somewhere in the top five uh, in short order. And we're going to keep it there. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Now's the time. Let me do this real quick. And there we go. All right, let's get this done. Let's get another call in, shall we? Uh, that came to me from Christy B. Oh, Lord. Nana is pretty athletic. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here's your invoice. This is from Big James. And Okay. It's an 844 number PayPal. If you did not authorize this payment. Here we go. <clears throat> Thank you for connecting PayPal. This is Eric. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I got some weird email this morning. It says something about me getting an invoice for $399. And I have no idea what this is, uh, but it's got a button here to view and pay my invoice. I don't. I don't know what this is. I don't know who would have sent me an invoice for $399, but 
I didn't authorize nothing and I need to talk to somebody. I don't know if it's your billing department or fraud or something. Hello? Hello? What no Sam Hill? Operator? Representative? Fraud? Security? <laughs> <coughs> Dude just didn't want to talk. <coughs> Let's call again. Oh, man. There's something weird on my screen right now. Hello? Thank you for calling PayPal. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I got some weird email. Uh, this morning, come to me, say something about a charge for three hundred ninety nine dollars. I and I don't even know where it come from or what this is about. Uh, but I need All to right, I need sir. to talk to somebody me? about it. All right, sir. Can you help me out with the invoice number so that I can tell you what exactly going wrong with it? Uh, yeah, that'd be great if you could do that. That'd be super. Tell me the invoice number. Uh, let's see here. Invoice number. I guess I got to open this. Is it all right to click on this thing? I guess. It yeah, is. open it up. It says invoice number 0003. Okay. And can I have your good name, sir? Uh, yes, sir. My name is Buster, B U S T E R. And then my last name is H I G H M A N Hyman. Okay, just hold on, Mr. Hyman. Let me, I'm just checking and let you know what exactly going wrong. Uh, is, it, is, is, is is not you, right? You didn't do anything, right? No, I did. I did not do any of this. Okay. Okay, it it look it, blew, it looked like a fraud charge. Let me check. Hold on, stay on the line. Sir. Yes, sir. I'll be right stay here. On the line. Now, sir, we can see that somebody you using your PayPal account and they purchase a Bitcoin by using your PayPal account. It's a fraud charge. So right now, what we are gonna do? We can go ahead by cancel this Bitcoin by getting your money back, which you have been charged. And as well, sir, we are just going to go ahead by block those people, those who are misusing your information. Okay, sir? Hi, right, that's fine. Okay, so right now, sir, you do one thing. You can get a pen and a paper and write down my name. My name is Daniel... Martin, B A N I E L M A R T I N, Daniel Martin. All right, Daniel Martin. All right, I got it. Yes. Yeah. Now, sir, I do believe that you are sitting next to your device right now, like a laptop or a computer, so that I can send you a cancellation form in order to cancel it by getting your money back to you, sir. Uh, I, yeah, I got my, what do you call it? My laptop sitting right here. Okay. So you are sitting next to your laptop, right? Yes. Okay. Can you open up the Google you, Chrome browser, Google Chrome? Okay. Uh, yes, I got it open right now. It's open, sir? Yes. It is. The reason they asked me to write things uh, down. The Google Chrome is they open. They want to verify later. Yes, that's what I told you. They want to verify that I'm actually paying attention and doing so what they're telling right me to do. Now, 
Uh, a lot of times they do it as a distraction from what's happening on the what screen. What need to do right now. Right. Now, at the very, very top, at the very, very top, can you see there is a long address panel where you can type something? Uh, yes. Type in there, S for sugar. Uh -huh. C for Charlie. Uh -huh. For Oscar. M for mother, F for foxtrot, I for Indiana, X for X-ray. Like put a dot like a period, then O for Oscar, R for Roger, G for gold. Can you tell me what exactly you type out there? I think I, my cursor wasn't ready yet, so I missed the first couple of letters. Tell me what it was one more time. Just uh, tell me the word. Don't, good Lord, okay. don't spell it out. Just it, just tell me the word. It, 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 it's S for sugar. The first letter is S for sugar. Yes. Then C for Charlie. Okay, I just told you not to spell it out. Just tell me what it is. Yeah, it's it's S C O M. Yes. Then fix then fix F I X fix dot O R G. Okay. All in one word. There is no space between. S com. That, that li listen how space. quick. Listen to how quick this should have been. S com fix dot org. Yeah, right now yeah. hit that's how from your that's how quick it should have been when you told it to me okay i'm on it it's green across the top of now, it there, you, and then it's got a box in the middle you, with a green stripe yeah and then it says secure server for uh, no, rsa 4096 bit encryption support yeah, and then next right. to that, there's like that a light gray camera. box that that's got our, some green letters is. in it. Okay, and it says answer. enter service now code. And then there's a yeah. white box with a green yes, edges around right. it. That's right. And then it's got a light gray circle with a dark gray arrow in it. All right, sir. So I'm going. And there's can a you cursor see it is that's just you blinking. Can you see? You see, it is asking you for a code. You need yes, to write right down there the in code. Green letters. It says "inner service code," and then there's yes, that little right. box, the white box underneath it with the green right. edges around it. Yeah. What? Were you write saying something? I couldn't hear you. I, I go can ahead. You hear me now? Uh, yes, I can now. The, but a minute ago, I is, couldn't hear anything that code. you were saying. It was like you were talking underwater or something. Sir, if Go you ahead. stop, then I will give you a code. I'm sorry. It's 86079. 86079. Got it. 86075. Now, do I hit the enter button? Seven, no, do no, I hit enter? Nine, no, I, no, no, no. Yeah, that, I'm saying, no, do I hit the seven, enter? 86075. Do I hit the enter button? You know those, no, and then does it matter? The there's two enter buttons on my on my keyboard. There's one of them by the numbers and one of them by the letters. Does it matter which one I do? Can you? Can you, it's the number is eight six zero seven five. Yes. No, it's eight? five. It's nine. Oh, five six it's zero nine. seven five. I'm sorry. No, what? the last letter is nine. The next to last letter is what? I thought you said it was seven. Sir? Let's, it's oh, wait, eight, hang on. Eight, Let me start zero, over and, and then tell it to me again. And this time try to speak real clearly so I can hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Can you hear oh. me now? Okay, yes. Now I can. Now, sir, the code is 
six zero seven nine. Oh, okay. Last time you said five. That's why. Okay. Now, do I hit the enter button to to? Yeah. Because the there's a there's a little the green. I, I don't know if this matters, but there's like a little green. Well, first of all, inside the box where I put that number, it says yep. uh, yeah. there's a blue X next to it. And then next to that, no, outside the box, the there's a light green. Or it's kind of that lime green circle with a white arrow in the middle of it. Okay, click on the arrow. Okay, click on the arrow. Okay, okay. don't touch the circle, just the arrow. Okay, okay, I done it. Oh, Lord. Now it downloaded something no, no, on my computer. Yes. Support. Yeah. Dot now client. Dot e e e e e yes. On there. Yes. It you need to open it, it up. Sir. Just open it up. Open it up. Open it. Open it up. How to open that support. Yes. Dot client. Dot it's exe. Is that what you're talking about? What? Give a double click on support client.exe. Give a double click on that. Okay. All right. Now there's a, my screen kind of went. What? Like, what? What do you see out there? Okay. My screen kind of went gray, and there's a deal that says, Do you want to allow the following program to make yeah, uh, yeah. changes? Click on, yes. click on yes. Click on yes. Okay. Did you click on yes? Uh, yes, I did. Now it's like there's a little now deal in the middle of my screen, like spinning around, like it's working on something. Okay. Okay. What do you see? That okay. Now there's that? a there's a deal popped up on the screen. It says, "Cannot start application. Contact your system administrator." Or network service provider. I don't know. And then it's got a little white button at the bottom that says OK. Press OK. OK, that just takes me back to are you. Are you doing it? Yeah, that just takes me back to your little website are you there. Are you, yes. Are you doing it on your work computer? No, sir. I don't even work no more. I'm retired. I've been retired for a while now. Okay. Okay. Open up the Google Chrome again. Okay. Open up the Google Chrome again. All right. And type in there A N Y T E S K Any Desk. Okay. Dot com. Okay. Any desk. Now press com. enter and. Okay. Now. Yeah. It, it's got. Can, it's, you, uh, can you see download a, now? Can you see download now? Yes. Yes, I can see. Click it. on download now. All Click right. on download now. Now, can you see it's downloading okay. any yeah, desk? Yeah, it, it, it downloaded. It downloaded any desk yeah, open it dot exe open it onto my computer. Open I see it right there. There's a up. deal that open popped up, up and says it. What? What it says. What What does what say? I just say where the thing is. That what where do it you down I'm sorry. Go ahead. What do I you just see, see the thing screen? that says it downloaded any desk.exe. Give a double click on that and open it up. Okay. Okay. And can you see run or yes, any option? Uh, no, I clicked on it and now it's just open this deal up. It's kind of looks like another little any desk page. It's kind of red, you know, it's that same color scheme, kind of that off red a little bit. And then it's um, got a bunch of numbers at the top. Big, bright red letter says yes. your address. Yes. You but this, but this you ain't, your, this ain't my, your this address. ain't my address. So that, that's what's yes. weird. It's just numbers. I ain't even got my street yes. name in there. 
Okay, now can you tell me your address? Can you tell me that numbers which you see out there? Okay, do you want my address or do you want the numbers? Because they're not the same. Yeah. That's what I just said a minute ago. The numbers. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know what phone you're talking to me on, but I hear about every other word. I don't know what the I'm problem is. You, I need your address. Am I, are, do you have on like headphones or something? Some of them little ear earbuds or bods or bottles or whatever them things is called? I think that's what it is because it keeps cutting out. Sometimes when I talk to my grandkids, it does that too. Just hold on for a moment. All right. Now, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Now, tell me the numbers. Okay. Uh, all right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. It's... right hand side at the very top can you see there is a small four lines at the right top uh small yes. four lines yes at the right top click on yeah give a click on that and you get a drop down option the, the second option is set password can yeah. you see set password yes click on set password yes. click on set password yes and can you see it is asking you for a password, set yes. password, password, and confirm yes. password? Can you can you see that? Yes. Yeah, put the password. The password is, is in lower case. Cancel one, two, three. C is in lower all the letter in lower case. C A N C E L one two three. Put, put, put it says there there's already on a, the first panel. Listen, shh. It says there's already a profile using this password. What it says? It said there is a profile already using this password. What password you put there? Cancel one, two, three. Isn't that what you told me? Let me just check. Hold on. Now. Now. Well, now they some Dale popped up on my screen up here. I don't know what this says. It says Dale, and then it's got a bunch of numbers on it. Uh, I don't know what that is on there. Sorry, by some Dale popped up on my screen here. Uh, says Dale one one two. Well, now nah, hell, now nah, it done disappeared completely. What is that? Now, what happened? You... Did I do something wrong? Now, what do, you... what do you see on your computer screen? Is this somebody different? Hello? There's, there's a deal up here. That fella told me to put in this password. I put in the password and it it's like it acted like it wasn't gonna work. And then there was some deal popped up on my screen. Like some little chat box looking deal. And then it just disappeared after a second or two. I don't know what's happening. Hello? Hello? Good Lord. Everybody call. Numbers in YouTube chat. Everybody call and ask for Daniel Martin. Just ask for Daniel. And then if he picks up or something or somebody says they are, no, just, just ask on. him if they like just the movie. Give me a moment time. All right. Now that same deal come up 
It says something about a Dale something don't or other. Don't touch any of that. Don't. I'm, I'm not touching nothing. Don't touch I don't know what's happening, but there's something wrong or something. It ain't doing nothing. Can you hear me now? What? Okay, they just put me on hold because they're trying to figure out what's happening. Um, they're getting called and they're probably no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but they're trying really hard to figure out exactly what's happening. Uh So as soon as this gets off of the uh, speaker, all right, I'm just going to call back and get somebody else on the phone. All right, let's see what happened. Yeah, you're not going to put me on hold for a long time like that. You can't, you can't block the 844 numbers. People always think you can. You can block regular numbers, but not any toll-free number. 844-855-866-77-888, none of those. Um, so however it's typed in the YouTube chat is how you got to dial it. If you call it with your regular number, yes, technically they're going to have your number, but there's only about 1,100 people in the YouTube chat right now. So the odds of them logging any one number relatively low hello hello what in the hell what is it they're not liking their life right now because their phones are blowing up went to voicemail Let's call from a different number and see if we can get it. Right. I... They just picked up and hung up immediately. Um, you know, the funny thing is I'm sitting here and there's this god awful thing on the screen right now. I've turned off any desk now, so they can't even get in. Um, I, I've watched some of these, like these over the last couple of days in particular, where I'm doing the like really old, like super old people doing the thing. And I can't help but imagine that at some point, some producer of this kind of films went to a person and said, hey, man, you know what I do, right? His buddy's like, yeah. He's like, hey, we need a location. Any chance we could use your place? And the guy's thinking, hey, free show, sure. And he agrees. And then Nana shows up. Thanks for calling. This is John. Um, yes, dear. Hi, my name is Beverly Leslie. I'm for a saved. Is this PayPal? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I have received a very strange uh, email, and it's saying that I've been charged $399 for something, and it's like an invoice somebody sent me. But I have no idea what this is, but I need to get this canceled and make certain they don't take my money. What's the invoice number you have? 
But I, I and I don't have I don't have any idea what this is. Yeah, it's like your vehicle has used purchase Bitcoin. Did you try and purchase Bitcoin? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you speaking to me, honey? Oh uh, yes, ma'am. Oh. Thing, uh, I'm sorry, did you ask? I can't hardly hear you, honey. It sounds like you're talking to me from down the hall somewhere. I'm saying that it's a purchase for Bitcoin. A Bitcoin? What? I don't even know what that is. What is Bitcoin? Hello? So it could be that your information is compromised and someone is trying to misuse your information. All right. Because this uh, charges are coming out of California. California? Well, that's that's certainly not me. Is there, how, well, how do we stop it? <clears throat> okay. As it is an author, unauthorized transaction, we need to cancel it and we need to make sure your PayPal account is safe. But right. they may try and use it again and again. Okay. Well, how do we do that? And do, I'll like, be sending do, you a cancellation form. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. I was going to say, do I need to call the police or anything? Or what do I need to do? Okay. Uh, I'll be sending you a cancellation form in order to do that. So that's an online form. Are you online right now? Uh, well, yeah, I'm in my email right now. Okay. I'm going to give you a few steps which you need to follow so that you can cancel this transaction. Now, you need to open up your browser, like Google Chrome or which browser do you use? Oh, Lord, honey, I don't know. I, well, I click on a, there's a button I click. My son-in-law sets all this up for me. I do, there's just a little button that I click, and when I click it, it takes me to the. Okay, it well, it's good. It takes me to Google. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Do I need to go there? Yes. Okay. All right, I have that open. Now what? Okay. Once you're in Google, on the top, do you see uh, address bar where you can type something? Uh, yes, I do. You need to type in the address bar, www. Uh -huh. A is an apple. All right. N as in Nancy. All right. Y as in Yankee. All right. D as in doctor. All right. E as an echo. All right. S as in Sam. Okay. K as in kilo. All right. Okay. Now what? Dot com. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it's anydesk.com. Anydesk.com. All right. Okay. Yes, I see it. And it's like kind of red and black. It says better. What well, had a thing that was like flashing at the beginning. Now it says 
better software. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, option which says download now. Okay. Okay, yes. Click on that, click on download now. Okay. Okay. Now it's downloaded something onto my computer. Anydesk.exe. Is that yeah. normal? Is that right? Open that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Open that. <clears throat> okay. And it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? Yeah. Click on yes. Okay. Okay. And that's, well, that's like opened up another, I don't know how to, it's like another page, but it, it, but it's not like in the internet thing. I don't know, but it, and it's got a bunch of numbers across the top. Okay. And they're kind what of that, the numbers you they're have? that same color. I beg right. your what are the numbers you have? You say oh, your, ad I, your address, yes. right? Yes. Are you ready? What's the number? You have? Okay, it's one, yes, one five, mm -hmm. three seven, mm -hmm. five one, mm -hmm. five eight, mm -hmm. and then the um, mm -hmm. the last two are. And just beside the numbers, just next to the numbers, do you see there's a lock symbol? Um, yes, like a little padlock. Yes, ma'am. Click on that. All right. Okay. Now what? Now, do you see it says set, uh, enter password or set password? Yes. So you need to type there help H E L P help. All right. Then one, two, three, four. Okay. And if you want, I need to type it in the same the same thing in that one below it that says confirm okay. password. I the same thing again. Confirm password okay. help. One, two, three, four. All right. And then do I click apply down at the bottom? Yes, click apply. All right. Okay. Now what? Now what do you see? Well, there's like a thing that says interactive access. Mm -hmm. Interactive access. Uh -huh. You see there's Check box, check the box which says never show. Never show incoming session request. Right, check okay. that box. All right. Okay, now what? Now, if you look on the top of it, do you see it says new session? Yes. Now there's some little thing that popped up on my screen and it says, oh, it disappeared. What happened to it? Hello? Yes. There was some little thing on my screen for a second, but it went away. It looked like an anti-desk thing. It's mm -hmm. red and white. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it was. What do you see? Well, nothing. That's what I just told you. All I see now is that little page with all the numbers on it.
Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? My heavens. What on earth? Oh, hello? He knows what's up. He's stalling. There's other people coming into the room now. Where he's at. Hello? My heavens, what happened? Representative? Operator? Fuck you. X what? Main menu? Hello? What on earth? <sighs> what is happening? I'm calling the same number again. The person you are trying to reach is on the phone. Leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Please enter your extension. Sorry, your mailbox could not be retrieved. Please try again. Sorry, your mailbox could not be retrieved. Please try again. Okay, so we're going to call from a different number. They they got in, saw it for a second. I didn't catch the any desk, uh, but that's all right. We have more opportunities awaiting us. Um, we're going to call from the third line. This is the Dallas line. And see if we can't get them on the phone again. There's a number of things happening to their phones. So, and their computers right now. So they're a little, um, Calling from three different numbers now. Hello? Hello? Have you seen any good movies lately? Okay, I'm just going to leave that phone number tied up. Um, here's what I was trying to do. I was trying to completely delete any desk and um, redo it. And what happened was, what had happened was I wasn't, com I didn't f get to finish before he needed me to give him those numbers. So, um, what did they say? Uh, I've got all these weird movies of somebody's Nana, um, getting made sweet, sweet love to love to right now. And, uh, they, uh, <coughs> they don't like it much. 
Let's just put it that way. Uninstall. There we go. And now I'm going to uninstall before I call anybody else, just so we can make certain we've got a new fresh deal. That's why I didn't care about the number because I know it was canceling it anyway. <coughs> I, the only reason I mute these IDs <coughs> is to prevent somebody from messing up the call that I'm on. On the off chance that one of the scammers is watching or uh, some of the scam baiter, honestly, whatever. Uh, I just don't want people to be able to come in and X, Y, Z. Uh, so what I do is I go in and change it after calls. Uh, I'll keep it for several calls in a row, which is why I cover and, and mute so that you guys can't hear it. The reason I pause instead of simply muting TikTok is half the time to mute, even though it shows me that it's muted, it doesn't mute. What I'm trying to figure out, is there a way for me to mute my board, which runs the sound for both of you guys, YouTube and TikTok? Because if that's the case that I could, it would be remarkably better. Um, instead of having to shut off two at once, I could just push one button, but I've yet to figure out one that works. So <laughs> Annie's farting. I shouldn't have told you all that. I, I don't really do that. I don't really I purposefully wouldn't do that in here because it's a small confined space. And then if you open the door, it's like, no. <laughs> sure, you don't rip in there. Uh, no, I don't really. It's a true story. Okay, uh, let me go in here real quick and do one more thing, and then we'll be off to the races. And whoop, there we go. Open and delete. Boop. Bye now. All right. Now we're going to go to Windows, get rid of that temp file. And that way, oops. There is no trace that it was ever there. There we go. Okay, now we've got a fresh new start. Let's do it. Let's call. Let's call somebody right now. Shall we? Uh, is anybody new watching for the first time, unfamiliar with what's happening? Haven't had any scam emails in weeks? Good. Congratulations. That's got to be dope. I get so many, I can't even begin to tell you guys. Uh, the email that you want to forward these to, if they have today's date on them, is ruck phobocalls at gmail.com. Uh, those of you that are new, click the follow button right now. Hurry. Uh, it is a limited time offer. Time is running out. Uh, don't miss out. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. $333.98. It wasn't a Sam Hill. Hang on a second. It's an 843 number. And this comes to us from Patrick A. Here we go. Let's give him a shout. How do you stop ads? Uh, Thank you for calling Norton. This is David. How may I help you today? Uh, yes, sir, David. I got some weird email that came to me this morning. I'd had this phone number on it, but it said that there was some sort of charge to me for $333.83, I'm sorry, 88 cents. And I don't know what in the heck that's all about, but. Okay, I, so can you just confirm me your invoice number? Uh, let's see here, invoice number, uh, A74E12V222, that's what it says. Okay, now can you just give me a moment so I can pull up your record and check? Yeah. Just hold on, sir. Thank you. All right. My back is super sore from golf on Sunday. I 
I played better than I thought I, I thought I was All going right. to. All right, now thank you for holding the line, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I'm there. Yes, sir. I'm right here. Sir, as I can see that that there is an active subscription of the Norton LifeLock security, which is expired today and auto renewed today to the premium subscription. Are you talking about like home? You talking about like home security, like alarm system? No, no, it's a Norton. It's a LifeLock security for the computer. Oh, on the computer. Right. It got auto renewed today to the paid subscription, sir. So do you want to cancel and get back with your refund money, sir? Or you want to continue with this service? Uh, yes, absolutely. You want to cancel it, right? Yes. So in order to cancel with this service, are you next to your computer, sir? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sitting here with it right now. Okay. So in your computer, sir, can you just confirm me like which browser you use, like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, which browser you use? Uh, well, I, it, uh, whenever I click on the little internet button, it takes me to that little Googler page or Google. What's it called? Oh, Is it? Yeah. Whatever Google that thing. Chrome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you say so, you're the expert. Uh, so how do I... What what do, do I, I need? To, you, do I, I need? To, do I need to? Me, like, do I need to go there? The do I need to go there? Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got one of my. I got. I'm sorry. I got one of my Googler deals on there. Okay. Now you look at the very top, sir. Do you see a long white address bar where you can type and search something at the very top? Yes. Now, what you need to do is, sir, you need to give a click on that and you need to type over there. All the word will be in lowercase, all together, okay? Type okay. S, S like in sugar. Okay. Then Q, Q as in queen. Okay. Then S as in hotel. Okay. E for echo. Mm-hmm. L for Laura. Mm -hmm. E for Peter. Yes. After P, give a dot. Then live. After dot is live. L I V E. Okay. I'm on your little website there. I click the enter button. That's the right thing to do, right? Right. Hit okay. Enter and I'm on. Comes up. Well, it's like a gray picture. It's like a desert. There's some cactus and stuff. But in the middle, I don't think that's what matters. On the, there's like a little white rectangle box in yonder. It's got a red stripe across the top of it. it says, "Welcome, secure support." Join with the code. Do you see uh, no, join with the code? Yes, there's like a light gray okay. box off to the right over so there, and in red letters it says "Join with the code." And then there's a Sir, line with a one of them little blinking placeholder deals. I don't know what you call them. And then there's like a light so gray circle with a dark gray arrow in it. Just give me a moment. Yes, sir. Take all the time you need. Hold on a second. Let me just go ahead and okay. Go 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 right ahead. That's fine. Just hold on the line. Yes, sir. Go ahead. If you haven't yet, there's 5,300 people in here. I know some of you are new. If you okay, haven't yet, so click the follow button the over there. before eight. it's too late. Hurry. Time's running out. One, six, five, three, eight, one, six, five. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three, eight, eight one, one, six, six nine. Five. Okay. Five. Sir. Three. Not there's nine. a like a, a circle. Now that little light gray circle with the dark gray air in it, it lit up. 
And it's sir, what you need to do is you need to type over there the number you have put in a wrong. I did number, a right? three eight one six nine. That's what you said, isn't it? Not nine. Hold on. It's five. It's the last letter okay. is five. Five eight Not one nine. six nine. Sorry. Five sir, eight one. Sir, there is one. no nine. Listen to me. What? There's no five. Sir. You need to listen to me, okay? I'm listening. Go ahead. Wait, let me go ahead and provide you the number again. Hold on. Erase the number which you have put in there. Okay. Now it's empty. It's back. It's just that light gray box with the red join with the code. Now it's that red line. And then the little blinking place over there, and then there's hold like on. a light gray circle with a dark gray thing. arrow off to the right of it there. Sir, you're not letting me speak only, sir. You're keeping on saying, you need to hold on. I need to do what? You need to hold on. Don't keep on saying. Let me go ahead and help you, okay? Okay, well, I'm, I, I don't, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm just waiting. What? This is going to be a good one, I think. Yes. And um, okay, so ma'am, this is this form is con connected with Better Business Bureau. Now Somebody put the getting code scanned over in there the background again, right now. You need to put the code over there, which will be two eight nine zero seven. Two eight nine, nine zero, zero seven. seven. All right, now that Two, little light gray circle with the dark gray arrow has turned into a red circle with the white arrow. Do I need to so do can it you again? Give me what you have. What you have put in? What number you have put in? Uh, uh twenty eight ninety seven. Right now, give a click on the arrow. Oh no. Okay, that little white arrow. Okay. You give a click on the arrow. Now, once you give a click on the arrow, sir, do you see a small file getting downloaded at the left-hand side bottom corner of your screen? Yeah, it says screenconnect.client. Yeah, double click and open that. Go double click and open that, sir. Okay. Screenconnect.client.exe. Double click and open that. Uh, you can open that. Okay, it says, do you want to allow the following yes, program yes. to make changes to give your click computer? Yes. Give a click on yes. And then it's got a deal. And there's like the publisher, and it's got the name sure, of it. And then there's yes. another little line of stuff. It says, see publisher's certificate information. Show more, Sir, do you see and then there there's no two buttons button. down yonder at the bottom. One of them says yes, and the other one says Give no. Give a click on yes. Yes, okay. Give a click on yes. All right. Now hold on. Now give a just wait a second. Okay. Okay. Now that my computer's making it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's making hang on a second I'm trying to it's working well it was working real hard now it's got a deal that's popped up here it says cannot start application contact your system administrator or network service provider. Oh, Sir, hold on, you just hold on. Give me a moment. Hold on. Just bear with okay. me. Okay. It's got a little button down there at the bottom. It says okay. Did you click, give a click on yes? Yes or no? Give a click yeah. on Yeah. When it was asking about now the changes on. to my computer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did I did that. Right? Yeah. Now, and then the on. computer now, took to on. making all kind of noise. It's working real hard. And then and uh and uh, then it uh that thing popped up that I'm looking at right now. Cannot start application and all that. Now just bear with me, okay? Yes.
sir, I don't know what's happened, but it, 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 hello? Sir, you just need to wait a couple of minutes. We are almost done. The cancellation is on process. In a very short time, you're going to get a refund okay. and a cancellation form. Okay, okay. good. I just, just I, 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 that's what I was, I was just checking on. Because I, 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 am I supposed sir, to click? What is your age? Well, I'm 71. 71. Yes, sir. I don't look a day over 80, though. <laughs> <laughs> I blame that on my wife's cooking. That day was terrible. Rest her soul. I shouldn't talk bad about her. But she... Uh, give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Her name was her name was Lois. My name is Lou. Lois? Yeah, her name was Your Lois. Name yeah, Lois. Where is she now? Well, she's uh, well. Hopefully, she's still in the cemetery. I don't. We done buried her a couple of years ago. I don't. She she uh, she had a thing for the food, and uh, she would eat a lot of the what do you call it the drive through food, the fast food, and I think that's what done her in. She got so swelled up, got a little pudgy. Started out just, you know, a little thick around the middle. And then over time, they, she was eating them dang box donuts all the time. And she down to McDonald's and all that stuff. And then, you know, she loved to cook too. But I didn't like all that dry food food. So I was... I was always asking her to make stuff, but everything she made tasted like cardboard, cardboard sir, sir, can you and tell mud. Me what do you see on your computer screen? Yes, sir. I got the, um, that thing on there that says "cannot start the application." Contact your system administrator or network service provider, and then it's got that little OK button down yonder at the bottom. You will click on OK. OK. And that takes me to back to the your little website, the little gray one in the desert with the box in it. And it says, join, you know, the, it's got that, uh, what you call it, the little gray box that says join with the code in it. But this time, they know, they know red line. Well, they know, that's, the, that's what I'm saying. Uh, last time, there was a little red, uh, what do you call it, a little red uh, line. On the bottom of it there, sure. but this one ain't they no line. It's just a see, empty space. Do you, see, do you see that option again which says join with the code? Yes, sir. But there ain't no line. So That's what I'm you telling you. Again, okay? Well, how am I supposed to put it? Put they, the ain't no, again. they ain't no line for me to put it on, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, do one thing, sir. Can you erase that? Can you open up your new tab? Uh, yes, absolutely. Open up your new tab. Okay. Like that's where I hit that Which little one? that little plus button up yonder on the top, right? Up there on that Once little nail at the top. Tab, yes. You need to type www dot. Mm -hmm. A as an apple. Yeah. And for Nancy. Okay. Y as in yellow. Okay. D for David. Uh, e for Echo. Okay. S for Sugar. Uh -huh. Then K. K as in Kilo dot com. Any desk dot com. Dot com. Okay. Correct. Now hit enter from your keyboard and tell me what comes up next. Uh, okay, I'm on their little website here. It's red and black and white, and it says... Uh, Do you see download now? Start the trial. Yeah, it's like them two you little pill-shaped buttons. Of course, they, I the mean, they're bigger the than a pill, now. but they got the same shape, kind of round on the end there. The, which one? Start business trial? Download now. Download, click now. On download okay. now. I clicked on the download now. Okay, now this now in here downloaded something onto my what? 
open that open that file which says yeah any dash dot a x a what does x c mean right what is that you need to open that open that okay open it all right and once you open that what do you see okay well they pulled up some pulled up some deal on the well it says it's my address but i hell i ain't okay, no, i don't that number. i don't that recognize that, that address at all it ain't even got a street ID. name in it sir you, that is what? the cancellation id that is not your address oh that's your address but that is the cancellation ID. Beside the number, sir, do you see a small mini lock sign? Uh, yes, sir. Looks like a little black okay, padlock. Right, right. Give a click on that. Okay, now that opened up a deal down here. It says set password. Right. Now you need to put the password over there. All will be in lowercase all together, which will be Apple. A-P-P-L-E. Apple, one, two, three, four. All in lowercase, all together. Okay. Apple, what was and Apple? The same password. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Okay. Yeah, password and is sufficiently password. safe. One, two, three, four. And then you said, then I need to click on apply. Uh, click on apply. All right. Got it. Now, just give me a moment. Hold on a second, okay? All right. If you see any security warning coming up in your screen, that is going to be disappeared, okay? Okay, yeah. There was something that popped up there for just a second, and then it, that I don't know what that was. Okay, well, okay. Now, I see that there, there it is again, and it that says security warning. Okay, I see it here. It's like a little chat box. It says secure server on there. I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to be looking at? Hello? Yes, sir. I said there's some little chat box still done popped up there a minute ago. I don't know if that's what... We was looking for. Hello? Hello? Well, what was I saying here? Hello? All right. So, oh. what do you see on your computer screen right now, sir? Well, they, there was a deal that popped up there a second ago. It said something about secure. Oh, wait. It popped up there again. Hang on. And it says secure server. And it says one five one five four zero four four five nine. Okay. Just tell me one thing, sir. Yes. Just are you watching porn on your computer right now? Why on earth would you ask me that? Because what happened? I just connect your computer with our secure technician, and my senior secure technician said that you're watching porn on oh. your computer. So what do you want me to do? You want me to cancel the subscription? Yes, I, I want you to cancel. Watch porn only. So just close. Well, wait a minute. So okay. I, I was wait. You can see what's now, on my screen. Is that yes, what? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Because what happened? You are connected with the secure server right now. Well, and that is the reason why. Be able to see what you see in your computer. So you do one thing. If that possible, I'm gonna refund you the money back. Can you please tell me what is your refund amount? Uh three hundred and thirty-three dollars and eighty-eight cents. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna refund you the money back on your account right now. Okay. You just what now? Now wait a second. That thing popped up on my screen again. 
Okay. Is that uh, is that supposed to be happening? Is that okay? Now you just sir, you just need to x out your what you're watching there, and after okay. that, log into your online banking. I do. So I, I do go that. Ahead and okay. There the we money go. Back on your account. Okay. All right. I did it. Hello. Hello. Sir, there's some other deal that's popped up here again, and I don't know what in the Sam Hill all of this stuff is. But there's something popped up on there. Hello? What in the Sam Hill? Operator? Um, their number is over in the uh, YouTube chat right now. So let me call them back real quick. See if I can get them on the phone. I just put something even oh, oh, far worse. Uh, those of you that are new, those of you that are new, now they don't want to talk to me. Well, that's strange. Uh, so let's perhaps give them a call from a different number. Perhaps somebody else might Tickle their fancy a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Oh my. What happened, Nana? Oh my God. This woman has clearly had like 19 children. They're just picking up and hanging up everything now. So we're going to. We may have already run, won this battle. saying these gentlemen are too busy to talk. It seems they're a trifle busy. Uh, we win again. 5.9K of you watching right now. If you have not done so yet, yeah, definitely click the follow button before time runs out. It's super important. Do it right now. Um, yeah, this uh, fella, he's got to be 30-ish. And uh, somebody's Nana. And she's been a very prolific, uh, fruitful, let's put it that way. Uh, she took that part of the Bible that says, be fruitful and multiply. She has clearly done a lot of that. Because... Uh, there's more than magic coming out of that wizard sleeve. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to tell you all right now. It's terrible. It's terrible. But that's all right. Love is love. Limbro bag. Anyhow, let's move on, y'all. Shall we call some more folks? I think we should. Uh, do you want to call them back one more time? <laughs> <laughs> That boy ain't right. There's something terrible wrong with him. Yeah, they've they've clearly figured it out at this point. They're like, don't answer the phone right now. 
<laughs> Very large deer leaves. <sighs> wow. All right. <laughs> That was a good one. Thank you, Patrick A. All right, this one comes from uh, Diana M. <coughs> <coughs> we are actually bending the, um, <coughs> excuse me, space-time continuum because this has got tomorrow's date on it. I hope I have not missed my flight to New York. New York City. Uh, everybody, everybody always says that about the Indian accent. They won't talk to you because they know that the Indians, Pakistanis here in this country already know that they're scammers and won't talk to them. So they just hang up. Even if I could do it that way, they would not want to talk to me. Uh, okay. So where is the phone number? This is another PayPal. It's got an 801 number that is in the lovely Salt Lake city region. Whoops. And uh, 801. And here we go. Your Let, call cannot be completed as that. Well, ain't that about a pacer. Let's move on to the next one. I saw somebody say wordy. Do y'all want to do wordy? There's still time. Join this spring event. And some, click here. Don't send me ones with links in them, y'all. I can't do nothing with those. Um, here's one from Marty K. Uh, it is in, uh, PayPal. It is from yesterday. It is too old. That number will not work in all likelihood. Okay. This one come to us from Corey C. It appears to have today's date. It does. This is also a PayPal. Uh, it is horribly formatted, uh, which is usually a good sign. Let's talk about it. It's an 888 number. Here we go. Hello? <clears throat> I don't know what's happened. He picked it up, but then he didn't talk about it. Thank you for calling PayPal. This is Miley Walker. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Walker. Um, my name is Cam. I received an email uh, so I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks as though uh, my information might have been compromised. Uh, it says someone has purchased Bitcoin with my um, PayPal account. I don't trade Bitcoin. I've never bought it, so I don't know how this happened. Uh, but I need to talk to someone uh, about getting this fixed or canceled or whatever. All right, sir. Can you help me with order ID or invoice number? Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a reference number, TT00-87YU-7TY. Okay, and how much did it ask you? Uh, it says $701.45. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me pull out your details. All right, great. And do you have PayPal account, sir? Uh, yes, I do have a PayPal account. Okay, so when was the last time you logged into your PayPal? Uh, I don't know, probably a month ago. I don't use it very often. Yes, sir. So, sir, uh, the thing is that someone has placed a uh, order of Bitcoin from your account and 
they are trying to purchase from the China. So do you know any person in China? In China? No, sir, I don't. Okay, so sir, it looked like a fraudulent order. So do you want to cancel this order or do you want to continue with this? Uh, yes, but it's kind of important. I want to make certain. I just bought some new gray sweatpants. Um, and I don't want to cancel that. Uh, if, if you see that one in there, uh, and then I bought a stuffed SpongeBob from someone on eBay, but, uh, the Bitcoin I want to cancel. So yes, yeah. please. So for, for that, you need to fill out a cancellation form. And you're going to cancel the order and block the payment. So, and you want to close your PayPal account, sir, because your account has been compromised. So, I think you should close your account and create a new PayPal account for you, or better say. Okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. So, what do I need to do? Oh, okay, so, so now what, uh, you have a uh, cell phone. Which cell phone do you have? Do you have an Android phone or you have iPhone? Uh, no, actually, I have a you're going to laugh at me uh, for security reasons. I don't have a, um, a smartphone. I just use a flip phone, but I have my laptop right here. I'm on my laptop right now. Okay. So now what you need to do, sir, uh, just, uh, is this your Windows laptop or is it an Apple MacBook? I believe it's Windows, sir. Okay. Yeah, the last so smartphone I had had a bulge on the – it was a huge bulge on the side. And the, um, what do you call it? The doodle bob, the, uh, screen, uh, kept getting stuff underneath it and it was falling apart and it wasn't working. So, um, okay. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on my laptop right now. Now just open up your Google Chrome browser. Okay. Got it. Now, uh, on the search bar, just type www. Yes, sir. On the first bar, just type www. Mm -hmm. Anydesk.com. I'm sorry, did you say anydesk.com? Yeah, any okay, got it. anydesk.com. Okay, got it. Now hit enter. Now what do you see? Okay. Hang on just a second. My doctor's office is calling me right now. Um, okay. hang, hang on one second. Prepare yourselves. TikTok just got banned for hate speech. And does anyone have any idea what I might have vaguely said? Gotta be fucking kidding me. And it doesn't even give me the opportunity to appeal. Okay, I got rid of them. Sorry about that. Sir? Yeah? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm on the AnyDesk website right now. Now, uh, you seek download now? Uh, yes, I do. Click on download now. So that's our PayPal portal from where you will get the form. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see it downloaded. I see it yeah. downloaded yeah. any, what does that say? Any, any desk? Yeah. Click on download. Okay. Now, once you download you will see on the top right hand side there is a file download in the name of any test.exe okay yes open the file open the file once you open the file sir you will receive the cancellation id over there okay cancellation id okay uh yes Okay, that's it. Says okay. it's it says it's your address. Yeah, but I have no idea what that's that a, is. That's a cancellation I number. So can you help me with the numbers? Um. Yes. Um. Let me get my glasses.
Shite. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Y'all didn't miss anything because the guy saw the screen and then geeked out and immediately got rid of it. Uh, so let me close this real quick. I'm filling out the form. There was no way for me to even appeal this particular um, suspension. I have no idea what the issue is. I literally, does anybody have any idea what the hell could have happened? Did anybody hear anything that I said that might have been construed as hate speech? The accent, maybe? But, I, I mean, again... Like, you know, so now I can't talk in accents. Okay, well, they're slowly but surely. Okay, and submit. Submit. Go. There we go. All right, so we've got that going for us right out of the gate, kids. Uh, let me get over to, there's one other place I have to post this real quick to let them know what happened. And then we'll be back and we're just going to say screw it for the day. It kind of sucks. It really kind of sucks because this is just getting, getting absolutely ridiculous. Um. I got to make sure I send the correct photo on this one. To no opportunity to appeal. No warning. And no opportunity to appeal. There we go. And let's see how that opens up. And I mean, I set these at 18 plus. So it's like, you know, what the hell? Like what, literally what, I mean, if I need to sit up here and teach a fucking kindergarten class, then just tell me that. And I just won't do this. I mean, this is just ridiculous at this point. And, the, you know, and the thing is, what happens when I get moderated once, then the AI is just like to get me. So anything flags it. But to, like normally I'll get like a warning or something. I didn't get jack today. Like nothing. They'll give me a deal that says, you know, you've been flagged. For what? I, like there was no flag and now they're saying out of nowhere, just hate speech. Who do I hate? I wish you guys would tell me so I could avoid them as a topic other than the scammers. Of course, perhaps if you worked harder on scammers, I wouldn't have such a prolific occupation. Hang on. I got to go turn the heat down because I'm already pissed off and I got to get the... I'm about to get the vapors. So let me go turn the air down real quick and I'll be right back. Don't go. I, it's, it's just right here in the bedroom. So I'll be right back. I am just completely getting over it. <sighs> I just don't understand this. He's one of the top people in the country. Let's f up his show every day. Does that, I mean, like, help me make that make sense. No, it's not. It's the 
fucking TikTok has AI moderation and the AI moderation hears the most inane shit and goes, oh my God, he's planning to overthrow a government. Like if I said that on, on TikTok, they'd be like, he's planning something. No, I'm not. Idiot. I'm now I'm probably going to get that for that too. Id jit. I got it the other day for saying the M word. Get out of here. Why is my screen? Come on. There we go. Uh, this is just absolutely ridiculous at this point. And I'm over it. I'm, I mean, I just spent a boatload of money to fly to TikTok headquarters. And these jackasses can't get their shit together. And it's really just pissing me off in a profound way. And once again, Q, let's see how many I already have in, my, in terms of messages. Already gained a thousand people. I'm gaining thousands of people every day, TikTok. Is it because I'm hateful? Absolutely ridiculous. And they've already got it fixed. It's already fixed. There'd be a big red banner there. All right, now I'm going to set it up for live here and see if it'll let me go. Okay. And we're back. Thank you, Blue Shift, again. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a whooping. Oh, yeah, thanks. Sorry. That's so distracting. You know, and the thing about it is, guys, this shit is not easy. Right? If you guys could see what I'm looking at right now, well, not that part. I can't show you that part. Let me just minimize that all together. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. I'm going to take a picture and show you guys precisely what I see. Like this is how much crap is going on. I can't even, get, like, I can't even get it all in the picture. There is literally this much stuff going on in front of me at this very moment. Okay. Except there's weird movies on that laptop right there. Okay. You see that? That's how much crap I'm having to maintain. Two sets of chats, one that has a thousand or twelve hundred people in it, and then there's TikTok, which normally has five thousand to ten thousand people in it. Like that's how much crap I'm looking at. You see those three phones sitting there? Not to mention the one that I'm holding in my hand, right? And they're they're doing that crap every damn day. This is not easy. It's expensive. You know, people think it's like, oh, he just makes a bunch of money. No, it's not like that. You know, I spent 25% of what I made this month on legal fees this month, mostly because of TikTok, almost entirely because of TikTok. And, you know, it's just so frustrating and so distracting because what I'm doing is important. It's funny and it's entertaining and all this kind of stuff. But it's like, how many times a week do I have to get kicked right in the junk by the very platform that is making whatever I make, they're making the same thing and keeping all of it. And it's just, it's just mind numbing how this happens. You know, and it's like, hey, you come to New York and hang out in headquarters. But the day before you go, we're going to pick up your huge live stream. Live fest. I can go live for 12 hours a day doing the exact same shit that I'm doing right now. 
that I was doing 20 minutes ago. No problem. Because it's like, yeah, but those gifts are flying in, right? Half of which we get to keep. Come on, man. This is easily fixable. If you, you know, if I'm such a problem child, let a human watch what I'm doing every day. And if I cross the line, have that human take notes for five days. Can't say this, can't say that, can't say that. That's what I told Ben from the agency the other day. I just want them to tell me what the in rules are and then enforce them consistently across the board because I could, I guarantee you, I could scroll through other lives right now. And there are a hundred people dancing around in their under britches, posing, yoga posing in their thong. And then there's literally thousands of accounts following me every week that are unquestionably from the source of 80% of the romance scams in the world. And they refuse to do anything about it. But they will randomly, with zero explanation, they don't come to you after the fact and go, this is the segment that was problematic. There's like nothing. It's just like, oh, well, you were hateful. To whom? About what? When? It's just, just absolutely obnoxious. I just, I can't, I can't. Uh, I got, uh, it's not because I'm being reported. It is not because I'm being reported. I would know that. You know, and like periodically, and I mean, when I'm in New York, I'm going to be talking to him about this. I guarantee you. When I'm in New York, to, uh, well, uh, Friday is when I'll be at headquarters. I'm going to be like, hey, the fuck? Because there are people in here that cuss like an absolute sailor that are drinking and whatever the whole time they're on, breaking all kinds of rules, which I'm not against any of that. But it's like, how can you let that happen and not me? I'm, 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 I'm saving people from being scammed. You know, I'm not, I'm not hurting anybody except the fucking bad guys. How in the hell am I the problem? Um, it's just frustrating. And I don't mean to go on these rants, but it's like, you know, and again, coming in here and making these calls, everybody thinks they can just, you know, it's like, oh, I could do that. If I had all that equipment and stuff, I could do it. No, you couldn't. It's not as easy as people think it is. I mean, aside from all the stress and all the crap I showed you guys on my screen, it's, um, it's also frustrating sometimes because I have to, while doing all of this and answering two different streams for chat and all that kind of stuff and managing the debate itself. I've got to be listening to what the guy or girl says so that I can know what I need to do next. You know, if they're going to be the one that is impatient and figuring out, is this somebody I can talk over? Is this somebody I can interrupt? Is this somebody I can be really slow or fast or whatever? That is 90% of this art. The, you know, all of this other crap is just technical stuff, you know, that someone else could probably sit here and run for me. <coughs> but, you know, I ain't that much of a baller that I could pay somebody full time to come and sit, you know? And then I've got to spend six hours a day outside of here dealing with all the other stuff that comes along with it, not the least of which is getting rid of all the scammers that the same exact platform totally allows. So, uh, okay. No, I mean, because here's the deal. TikTok is where 
I mean, I get 1,600 people. There's 1,665 people in the live. That's because a lot of the people moved from TikTok over to YouTube. It was about 1,100, I think, or 1,200 maybe. Um, you know, it, this is four times as much as that in terms of how much I make off of it, Right. This stays in perpetuity, so it has longer benefits. And the more I put up, the more stuff I get to when people get watching and stuff like that. So it continues to grow a little bit faster. Um, but this one is also where I have, I mean, I just got back from a, a band and I've got 3,700 people in here. So there's literally more than twice as many people here as there is there. And it's just it's people, it's on their phone. It's, it's easy and people do it all the time. So, all right, I'm going to make some more calls despite the interruption. <coughs> I'm going to call that same guy back and see what happened. Cause he was taking me to the any desks. Popular rant number five. I believe it. Oh, I should actually hit call. I had the number up, but I didn't hit call. Okay, what was it? This is Alex. Let me help you today. Uh, yes, sir, Alex. Uh, I, I got some weird email. Uh, they come to me a little bit ago. I don't I know you, right? What? Do I know you? Do you know me? I don't know. Do you? I guess so. Well, what does that mean? Is you one of them people that's calling me all the time or something? Hello? What are the odds? That's the one I call that only has one person answering it. Uh, his number's posted in the chat. I mean, see, that's the kind of shit that just completely derails everything. Had that guy hook, line, and sinker before, and then... Thanks, Tony. Good to see you, buddy. Okay. We're going to move the heck on. Yeah, I was cam before, uh, but I didn't. I wasn't expecting the exact same guy would be on the phone. That's why. I've... This comes to us from Holly C. It's an eight one eight number, and it is for a paid invoice. Geek Squad and Tiberus. I think I know what what is this? I think I know just who this person needs to talk to. Yeah, I want to do wordy. Let's do wordy. Send animated gifts and I'll enter them into the conversation. We'll do me out next. Or. Hello. Thank you for connecting to Help and Support. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, sir. I, I got to let you know. I just got an email that just about made me go bananas. It looks like I got charged $472.72. Are you kidding me right now?
that may very well have been in a different call center or in a call center that I've actually called and they're running multiple scams. That happens sometimes. Um, but it is what it is. And there's only so much we can do about it. Okay. I am Ambassador Dennis Francis, President of the United Nation General Assembly. Nations. Further details can be found on the official United Nations website via our link. Yeah, no. Um, we found that you have unclaimed compensation payment. That's overly redundant. And if you get that joke, you're smart enough to be my friend. Uh, okay. For more of information on how we received your unclaimed compensation, please reply. Please compensation payment. Reply me back on this email only. And the email, I kid you not, is unofficials. It's supposed to be UN officials, but it's just says unofficials one nine blah 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 at outlook. So uh, we're gonna give him a call. I don't think he'll answer, but there's a chance uh, that he'll call back or something. Normally that's why they always say email. We'll see what happens. It's a 202 number. Nothing else. Maybe we'll get into the voicemail. Okay, hold on. Yes, I'll talk about why the live ended in a second. Hold on. Okay, I've had enough of your nonsense, little boy. Thank you for all the team bracelets. Come on, answer the phone or give me a voicemail or something. Um, if you ever are in a live and it says live was discontinued, that means TikTok broke it off in my, uh, he did. He's already gone. Rick has been for a minute now. Um, unless I end it, they did. If you don't hear me do the closeout, they ended it. If it says discontinued, the creator did not end it. That means TikTok ended it. And if I get discontinued, it's because TikTok decided that, you know what, Kim, we are excited to inform you that your payment invoice for Norton Antivirus Premium has been successfully prom processed for $499.99. Where is the number? That's all I want. It's an 805 number. Yeah, the trolls, today is not the day, trolls. I will straight break it off in you. Thank you very much for your call. This is Peter from Norton Lifelock. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, Peter. Uh, I got some sort of weird email from y'all. It says I was charged $499.99. Or some sort of subscription renewal uh, today. Uh, we're excited to inform you that your payment invoice for the Norton antivirus premium has been successfully processed. Well, I don't know how this happened, but I need to get somebody okay. on it because I didn't do this. Okay, can you just please help me with the invoice number or the order ID so that I can let you know? Uh, 78031. By the way, this come to me from okay, Tina. So H. here I can see that like there is an renew renewable for the Norton Life Lock, and you are telling that 
you didn't do this, right? Correct. So it might be possible like somebody has misused your information, sir, and there is a reason you are getting this kind of email. So can you just please let me know in this recorded line, like what do you want? You want to cancel this out? Are you going to keep it, sir, so that I can help you with? Yes, I'd like to cancel it. Hello? Okay, so for the cancellation, you can just let me know, like, are you near by your computer? Yes. Okay, so can you just please pull up your Google Chrome, sir, so that I can help you with the cancellation? Okay, it's up. I'm on it right now. Okay, and I do believe that you're using a Windows computer now? Yes. Okay, now pull up your Google Chrome browser. Okay. And now at the very top, there must be a long search bar where you can type something. So you need to just type it over there. It's yes. all in lowercase, okay? S like in Sam. Q like in Queen. Then H like in Henry. E like in Echo. L like in Linda. Mm -hmm. P like in Peter. Mm -hmm. Then give a dot. Mm -hmm. Then type it over there. L as in lady. Mm -hmm. Then I like in Indiana. Yes. Then V like in Victor. Mm -hmm. E like in Echo. Okay. Now, just let me know. Search it and let me know what's come up, okay? Well, it's uh, some little gray background there. And it says, uh, oh, Lord. Uh, it's got a, like a box in the middle of the page there. It says, welcome, secure support, join with a code. Right, sir. So now just let me, like, give me a moment so that I can just generate your cancellation code, okay? Okay. Okay, now you need to just put the code over there. It's 80743. Okay. Now there's an arrow that's popped up there. On the right hand yeah, side. Now just hit the right arrow indicating over there. Just hit it. All right. And once you hit it, you can just have a good look on the right hand side top. There must be a file downloaded with face screen connect dot client dot exe. Yeah. Right. Right. Just yes, I see it there. It. I see it there. Just double click on it, please. Okay. Okay, so, do you want to allow the following program yeah, uh, to make changes yes. to your click. computer? And then yeah, it's got two buttons on. down there. One of them says yes, and one of them says yeah, no. Click on yes because we are. We'll see if I can't it. speed this guy click along yes. a little bit. Okay, now there's a deal that popped up on the screen. It says cannot start application. Contact your system administrator or network service provider. And then there's a little white button that says okay. Okay, click on OK now. Okay, that takes me back to your little website here with the okay, gray background. It's got the, the box website. in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yes, just remove that from the search bar and make the panel empty and then type it over there. You like an umbrella. L like a lady. Just tell me what it is, please, P for the love of – wait a minute. For the love of Pete, do not spell out. Some big other okay. long website. Just tell me what it is. It's ultraviewer.net. Ultraviewer.net. Okay. All right. I'm on it already. That's how much faster okay. this could be going. Okay. It says remote desktop software. Ultraviewer helps you control your partner's computer yep. to support them as if you were sitting in front of their screen. 
more than 40 million downloads, 100% freeware, very easy to use, remote control to support your partners, online education. And it says more info click on and the, download. Click on download. Download. Got it. <coughs> and once you download it. Okay. Now it downloaded it. ultra viewer underscore setup underscore 6.6 .6 underscore en dot exe. Okay. Just open it up. Okay. And now what came up, like it would be asking you about, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So you need to hit on yes, okay, because yep, we are removing it. There. Yep. Now it and says, then you will be getting the there's option up there's next. There's a deal that come up here and says, select destination location. Like it's asking me where I want Click this thing to next. be saved. Click. And then it's uh, like, it's giving me a bunch of different options, but down at the bottom there, it says uh, next and cancel. Click on next until you got the option of install. Click on next. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see install. It says back Click install or install. cancel. Click, Click on, on install. install. Okay. Okay. Now it's installing it. Uh huh. Okay. And once it's installed, you can will you will be getting the option of finished, right? Uh, it's still installed. It says registering service. Yeah, now it says finish. Okay, once it says finish, click on it, please. Okay. And one that's like once you click on okay, finish, now there's you a can box see a box popped pop up, up yes. with your ID. It says allow password, remote right? control. Pay, please tell your partner the following ID and password if you would like to allow remote control. Your ID, then it's got a whole bunch of numbers. Password, and it's got some more numbers. Unattended access, run ultra viewer of Windows, prevent Windows from going to sleep. Allow, turn on computer remotely. Custom the ID. What's that? Tell me the ID number. I'm sorry. Did you say tell you the ID number? Yes. I'll okay. give you the ID number. All right. Correct. That's correct. And now help me with the password. Help me with the password. Uh, the password is five five zero seven five. Okay. Now just give me a moment. Let me put your cancellation ID and the password in our system so that you will be connected to the Norton Secure Server. Okay. And then the technicians are going to cancel the subscription and you will be getting the form on your screen. Okay. So once you Perfect. get it, please do let me know. Okay. Uh, there's a deal. There's a little white deal that popped up on the uh, screen down at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Uh, but it, it was there for just a second, and then it flashed up. Well, and I was about to tell you there was like a little blue arrow deal that uh, came out of the side, mm -hmm. and uh, but it's gone too. I don't know what happened. Okay, then no problem. I think the cancellation has been done now. Okay, well that was quick. It took you twenty minutes yeah. to get to that point. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just curious. Yeah. So when am I going to see this? Hang on, because let me log into my bank real quick and see uh, where this. Mm -hmm. When am I going to see this credit? It will be taking like half an hour or one hour to be done. Okay. To show. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and let me look because I'm looking in there right now. I don't see the. Uh, I don't see the. Uh, 
what do you call it? I don't say no charge. I pulled up my bank stuff. No problem. No I problem. I don't say no, no money is charged. No money. You got to delete money. What? Um, Y'all have heard me talk about roll reversal. There's some roll reversal going on on the screen right now. And uh, there's, a, there's a couple, and they're clearly in love because, you know, when people are in love. And um, they're um, – this fella has a very unique talent in terms of his capacity because uh, the young lady has apparently dropped the remote control to the television or her car keys, perhaps a wallet, small purse is entirely possible uh, in this fellow's uh, prison wallet. And uh, she is uh, trying to get it. And uh, apparently she dropped it from very high because it must be super far because she is all the way up in yonder. And uh, she also has some additional aftermarket equipment that uh, she has effectively bolted on to herself. And... Uh, it's about the size of a coffee can, but it's real long. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what that fellow saw the minute he got in. And it didn't take him long to change his mind about whether or not he wanted to help me with my refund. He made up his mind very, very quickly. Uh, let us make another call, shall we? Let's call that same number. Uh, has anybody managed to get over th get through over there? I'm very pleased to know that. Hello. Oh. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, yes, my name is Beverly Leslie. I received uh, some sort of message. He just hung up. That was the same guy, and he was super suspicious. Uh, the, the hounds have already um, started, so let's just call him again. Let's see if I can get him on the phone. <laughs> <coughs> Hello? Hello? What on earth? Representative? Operator. What on earth? Okay, I just hung up. Um, I'm going to point something out that I see from time to time over here. There is an account that I just blocked because there are accounts that come in here and just follow either all men or all women. And what they do is they'll come in and just at you, like at John Smith, at Sally Smith, right? When I start seeing that, I pull up their accounts and look at them. More often than not, they're not even following me. Um, there's one now. Bye. Um, so if you get someone who is adding you, meaning AT, at, in you, in the uh, comments, 
be very suspicious of that account. That is how they find potential victims, uh, particularly if you see that that person is not following this account, me on this account. Okay. If you see anybody who is following an account that looks like it might be me, that is almost unquestionably a fake account. Okay. So, um, you know, if you're a guy and you have like a really handsome picture, or if you're a girl and you have a really pretty profile picture, um, you know, and I know that's relative or subjective or whatever, but I'm saying in the event that you do, these scammers will come through looking for that kind of thing. And then they will just say, Hey, and they're trying to get your attention so that you'll follow them. And then the conversation begins and the scam is off to the races. So just be careful, uh, be aware of that. And if you get, um, I don't have that problem. If I wasn't a scam baiter, I would not get a lot of <laughs> romance scammers. They'd be like, ah, pass. <laughs> um, so just be aware. And I've been meaning to bring that up because I see it all the time. And I see the scammers come into the lives all the times, uh, all the time. And I block a lot of them. Uh, when you guys see me taking pictures and stuff of my screen, I'm taking pictures of what I believe um, uh, are fake accounts or scammers or whatever. So, okay. Somebody just said that something about my account being locked. I don't know. I just posted the, yeah, no, that's what I thought. Somebody just saying something. Okay. Uh, there we go. So stoked to stumble on your live. This is amazing what you're doing. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, yeah, just give them the STFO emote and do whatever, which reminds me, I still have not put the emotes up for you guys. I'm going to do that. Um, there we go. Okay. Stop following ever since that one day, some of your mods ganged up on me for defending myself. You stop following who me. Okay. Well, what's this? Peace out. Anybody else? Anybody else got some dumb to say? Because I'm in the mood today, boys and girls. Now, here's what's going to happen. That person's now going to go over to YouTube and start doing this. And guess what's going to happen over there? Same thing. Your mods are... My mods know what they're doing. They're told what to do by me. They are an extension of me and doing what I'm doing. And there's reasons for everything that we do. Typically, my mods do not block you. They mute you because you're saying stuff you shouldn't be saying. Or you are adding fuel to a fire that does not need fuel. So my mods are rock stars. It's why I don't pick my mods. My mods pick my mods. And when they say, we need another one, because the account's growing or we had so many people in there or whatever, then they get whatever. Now, if you do something wrong, typically speaking, they're going to send you a message and say, and at the end of every live, they have screenshots of everything or screen records of everything that these people do. So I can literally go in and just done. Bye. So if I don't see it here, I'll see it later and they'll just be done. So uh, we have a private discord just for the mods. There's like a dozen people in it between the two. So uh, thank you, John. Appreciate you, brother. Um, da, da, da. <laughs> this is Larry. And I watch every time you're on like a soap opera. Love it. Okay. Um, when you, okay. And let me show you something. This right here. A lot of people come to me and go, your mods are stupid. Oh, I'm getting a call from a private number. Well, this is a transaction alert call from banking head office of Visa and Nectar card support. There has been two transactions done on you. Credit card for $299 on Amazon and $3,950 on Western Union. If you have made these transactions and accept the charges, simply hang up.
If you have not made these transactions and you wish to report fraud, please press 1 immediately. Almost zero chance that this is anything other than them trying to retaliate. This is one of the schmutzes that we just busted and they're trying to call because this is a relatively new number and it doesn't get calls, inbound calls very often. So they're trying to be funny. But if they want to do something, do something. Otherwise, bye now. Um, I was going to post something. Someone uh, just commented about one of the bots in here. People come in here and they complain about the bots. And they're like, oh my God, the mods aren't doing their job. The bots are engagement. Ignore them. There's literally 4,500 people in here. You're not talking to all of them. Why are you focused on the bot? That's, you know, look my profile or whatever those crazy things say. Just ignore them like you ignore the other 4,499 people that are in the live. And they just go, they go away because nobody clicks on them. That's what they're looking for is traffic. And when you do that, um, what you're doing is giving them traction. Oh, I got added. A-T, apostrophe D, at, id, right? So just don't give them any attention and they get bored and they go away. Now we get a bunch of them in there all the time. It is a fact of life when you have, I mean, how many other lives do you watch that have 5,000 people in them every day? Or, you know, in some cases, eight, nine, 10,000. Very few. Okay. They come in here wanting you to react. If you do, they're winning. Don't do that. If you at them, people, my mods who are trying to sometimes either mute them or get rid of them or whatever, instead of getting them, they get you. I'm not a bot. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Sure you are. Uh, so when you do that, no, he's not sure. Uh, so when you do that, you're giving them exactly what they want. Let us handle it. I promise you. <laughs> so, and, and what'll happen is you'll end up getting muted. You'll be the one that gets muted accidentally because they're thinking they're clicking on the right one. Right. So what are Okay, bots are like accounts that are designed to design. They'll have an, like if we pull up, uh, one of these bots comes in. Uh, I'm looking, I'll, I'll see if I see one come up. And it's one of those that says, look at my profile. And it's like some, you know, kind of like aesthetically pleasing person, usually female in there. And if you click on the profile, there's no content, no anything. There'll be a link in the, in the, um, profile and the link in the profile takes you to some scandalous website adult in nature usually yes very clickbait cc very uh it's almost always adult in nature and um they're just trying to get traffic to those shady websites that's all it is so if you give them attention or you click on their profiles or you click on their thing, all you're doing is giving them exactly what they came here to get. Yeah. And they do, they come in waves. And like, if you go through and here, here's what also happens. If my mods go in and they block one, there'll be another one right after. But if there's only one and you just leave it, it just goes away. Now, these guys that, and it, more often than not, I have to believe that it is largely men that do this. And we all know where they're from. I don't like to say it because then I get hate mail, you know, ugly messages from people from there or from, you know, with family there. I'm not picking on the country. I'm just picking on the people in that country that do the bad things. 
a couple of West African countries in particular. And they have 50 of these accounts set up. So if you mess with one of them, they'll put in a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth. That's what that is. Mods, by the way, is moderators. That's uh, people that are monitoring the content that are appointed as moderators by me, people that I know and trust and whatever. Be careful with that word. And that the reason they love my lives is because people come in here and talk about how they've been scammed. Okay. In their mind, you were weak enough to get scammed once. There's a solid chance. Thank you, J Red. Thank you very much for the motorcycle. I want a real motorcycle like that, that actually looks like that. Um, um, I totally forgot what the hell I'm saying. The motorcycle threw me off. J Red, blame J Red and my ADHD. So, hey, I tell you what, hold on, wait, whoa, 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 hang on just a second here. Hey, Wild Bill, why don't you get on and make some calls? Here, come on. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's find Wild Bill right now. We're going to invite him on as a guest, and Wild Bill's going to make calls from his phone number. Oh, he's probably got his turned off to, because he doesn't actually do that sort of thing. He goes on and rants about politics instead. So here's the deal. Don't come in here and start doing that. Yeah, there we go. This guy right here. Let me look at his profile. I guarantee you the only thing, if he ever goes live, the only thing he ever does is talk about politics. Thank you, Crunk Panda. My man, everybody go give Crunk a follow. I didn't say that earlier. I apologize, buddy. Where are you at? Say something. Krug is a good friend. He's been a he's been with me since early, early on. And uh, where'd he go? Come on now. He's a gamer. He works at a dispensary, a legal dispensary in Missouri. He's got a background in uh, law enforcement, ironically. I don't see him. Yeah. So um, anytime Wild Bill wants to come on and try to make calls himself, he can do that. Or he can start his own. Uh, he's got about 11,000 followers, I see. Um, so if you would like to make calls yourself, feel free to lead the live and go do it. When I'm ready, I'll let you know. Until then, just hush. Okay, did we did we find one of the? There we go. Here's one. Pin this. There you go. I just pinned this comment because I want you guys to see. You go there. They are fishing right now. Go look at all of the accounts that they are following. Those are fake accounts. And here's another one that I'm going to block. This one right here. When people come in and say this, M-O-O-T, that's a fake account. Anybody want to bet me? Go look at his followers right now. Go look. Go look at his account. Go look at his followers. Let's just, yeah. Now, it, yeah, I mean, it's just a word that they type all the time. I have no idea why. And, and look at the followers. And those, and those female accounts that they follow, go look at their follows and followers. And you'll see what I'm saying. People say, how do you find these? This is how. Thank you for the VSG. Thank you very much for the llama. 
Lucy the Llama. Oh, here's another one. CC and uh, three followers, 37 following and immediately blocked. There you go. That's what we do here. Cause I'm just, I'm in the mood today and they're going to come after me. I guarantee you. Now the problem is all you guys that are now typing the word moot. Don't do that because my mods are going to go suspicious. Don't do that. <laughs> don't play with fire. Yeah, it's a block party. We doing it. Yeah. See what's happening? They just, and 90% 90, 90 of the bot accounts, when we say bot, it's like robot. That's what that's, they're just designed. Jamie, thank you for the sports car. Holy smokes. Um, th they are, well, this is about as close to non compose as I get. If I get like mad mad, I'd go offline because I'm not a good person when I'm mad mad. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. I'm a terrible person when I'm mad mad. Like I'm, I'm, I will destroy things when I'm mad, man. Yeah. And they're looking for followers and uh, all of the followers. Thank you for the galaxy. Who, who was that? I missed my moms. Thank you. Um, hello from South Africa. That was more Australian. South Africa. Uh, new friends. Thank you. Yes, I am divergent as am I. Thank you. Hello from Scotland. All right. I'm going to make another call now. How's that? Now look at pics comment. Hang on. CC, what is that supposed to mean? I just removed you from TikTok. Well, well, um, here, send me an email. It's ruckfobocalls at gmail.com. Send me an email right now. I'll look at your account again. And if I've gauged it incorrectly, uh, and then what I may do is ask you to send me a picture of yourself right now. And if you want to do that, then, and I've, and I've, you know, there, someone is over at YouTube complaining now. Uh, so let me do this. Let me pull up my inbox right now. Let's see if CC Stark actually sends me an email. Apple QuickTime download. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, so let me see if CC Stark sends me something. Yeah, we can do the meow thing, but we need a new word. I, I don't want to do meow. I want to do a different word. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's see. I kind of like, right now, boop is the good one. I like boop. I'm looking, you guys are giving some good suggestions, but I so far, I kind of like Boop. <laughs> some of these are some of these are hard. Uh, if you just sent me a message and said, I'm real, bro, or no, I'm sorry, I'm real, yo. Do me a favor, send me a, a picture of your um send me a picture of your ID. I 
I saw ouch, but I like I, I still like boop. I just think boop is gonna be it's gonna sound funny. And like I like skadoosh, but it's hard to put in 50 times in a call. Peep is another good one, Whaler fam. I'm going to save that one, though. I'm going to go with Boop because it just hit me right when I first saw it. So let's let's do Boop. OK, all right. Let me pull up and let me pull up an email that works here. OK, CC, I see your email. Bear with me just a second. Uh, account is private. I'm looking at some other things here. You build flat. So you're overseas. You're in England. Aberdeen. At least that's where you were. Okay. Well, I'll look. Um, Interesting. There's a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of stuff on here. I gotta make sure I don't have sound on before I turn any of this online. Uh, I'm uh, CC did message me. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. There's a whole lot of entries for you. But I got to see something solid before it's all over with. I've starred that email. Here, hold on. I got one coming to my phone. Hello? Yes? I'm great, Zach. What can I do for you? Good call. I'm calling you from USA Auto Warranty. This short call is about the vehicle warranty, and I just want to ask you one simple thing, then I will let you go, okay? Okay. So, if we show you a plan that will cover your car for five years with an additional 100,000 more miles in which your engine, transmission, transaxle, and all electrical and mechanical breakdowns are covered with the lowest and reasonable price. Yes. So, you would think about it as an option, right? Yes. Okay. How many miles do you have on the vehicle? Say that again. I said, how many miles do you have on the vehicle? Oh, uh, 11,000. 11,000. So do you have any other vehicle instead of this? So what? I said, what kind of vehicle do you, uh, what kind of vehicle do you have? Please, yeah, make and model. Is that I, clear? I have a Mercedes Benz. Okay, okay, that's great. And here? It's a 2021. 2021, that's great, that's great. So do you have any warranty on that? Uh, I don't believe so. I think it ran out. Okay, so... 2021 Mercedes 11,000. Meanwhile, so I'm blocking mind. bots. I transfer my call to my warranty specialist. He, he will assist you further about that. If you require any 
वॉरंट ऑन दैट ओके ग्रेट ओके ओके प्लीज डू सो वेट इज ऑन द कॉल ओके 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 He's trying to transfer me right Thank now. Thank you so much for staying on the line. This is Timothy. How are you doing? I'm great, Timothy. How are you, buddy? Complain. Thank you for asking. Good. Well, uh, it doesn't do no good to complain anyway. That's how nobody ever listens when I complain. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, I just came on the line to assist you and let you know more about the deal and the product. Before okay. we proceed, do you have any questions in your in your mind so far? Uh, yeah, I was just curious. Like, what what company is this run through? That fellow said it a minute ago, but uh, forgive me, he had a a little bit more of an accent, so it's I couldn't it, understand him. It, it's okay, don't worry about it. I understand. It's a service contract. Okay. Okay, and yeah. like, in a, we are calling you right now. So like, who are like what company though? Is it like? Insurance or what? It's not an insurance. Okay. This call is regarding your extended auto warranty. Oh, okay. Okay. And and what com? Well, like who are what? you with? What company? That's what, what is that the name. Yeah. What's the what's the company? What is your name? Uh, well, my name is Buster B U S T E R. That is not even a name. Yes, it is. What do you mean it's not a name? That's kind of offensive. Last name is H. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize. Your vehicle is not qualified. I'm sorry. You have. Hey, a good listen. Day. My na- my name is Doc Compton. Does that ring a bell? Nope. It doesn't. Google it. Do it right now. It'll be fun. Okay. Do it. No, no, no. Do right, thank it. You, do, sir. do it while I'm on the phone. Do it. Do what? Google me, Doc Compton. Do it real fast. You'll see. You'll see what I do for a living. And then you'll find out that you're live right now in front of um, several thousand of my closest friends watching me just troll the shit out of you right now. And that was all the little boy wanted to talk about. Um, the The foreign call centers on the auto warranty stuff they don't they don't uh, they have started the um, all of these car warranty companies are here in the United States. They basically underwrite these what they're called as vehicle service contracts. Vehicle service contracts are basically they say the extended warranty on your car has run out, and they ha- present it as though it is a warranty. That is not what it is. A warranty can only be provided by the manufacturer, okay, or the seller. The vehicle service contract is a supplemental that if certain things happen to your vehicle. Now, what certain things? Are they a good deal? No. The contracts are intentionally written. Ask me how I know because I've busted more of these than I can possibly. Hold on. I'll show you. Hold on just a second. Hang on a second. I'm going to show you some that I've sent. Hold on. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Hang on, wait for it. Six. Seven, eight. 
Here's eight of the ones, and I, I am barred because I signed non disclosures. Here are eight of them that I have settled. Now, what I can do, though, is I can show you um, copies of, for example, a check written to me by an auto warranty company. Now, this is an older one, obviously. This goes all the way back to 2018, but it's for three grand. That's a three grand. That's one. Uh, this one, I don't have the actual settlement agreement or the check, but you can see, I want to take off all of this. Uh, it's a vehicle service contract. Uh, vehicle service. I don't know what that word was enclosed, but that's another one that I settled. That was actually for Lexi, uh, not me. And I know that because it has her name on it. Um, here's another one. Can't show you much but I can show you a $2,500 check. There's a $2,500 check right there. And that's another auto warranty company. Here's one for $4,500. For those that, and this was, that was in 2020. The other two were like 18 and 19. Here's another one. Here's a check. Here's the actual check. This was a tiny one for 750 bucks. Okay. Here's another one. This one is for, this one is uh, late 2021. It is also for $1,500 right there. Here's another one for $1,500. And this one, I think this one was a wire transfer, so it doesn't have the actual thing in it. Um, but I will show you the part that has the dollar amount. It is. Right there where my index finger is, $3,000, $3,000. Here's uh, the last one. This is uh, another $2,500 check. Oh, wait, hold on. I got my big old fat panther paws in the way there. $2,500, $2,500. $2, you can't ever find out who they are. There's eight of them. There's a whole bunch more. And those are just the ones that I have files on. There's a whole bunch more. So, uh, yes, you can absolutely identify them, find out who they are, and take their mother money. Paint their ball. That, Maddie, is knowledge of the app. Yeah, try me. <laughs> um. Cash those checks. Oh, I've been cashing them checks since uh, 2014. People think I'm kidding. And I'm like, no, I worked for a law firm. I wonder if I have one of my law firm business cards. I don't think I do. I don't think I have any of my law firm business cards. I have some of my old credit repair cards, but I don't have any of my... Yeah, I don't have any in here. I thought I did. Um, I was the... Um, what was my title officially? Director of the consumer credit section of the law firm. They've added new partners, so it's got a different name now. But yeah, I've been doing this since 2014. In 2018, I started doing it for myself, just privately. No attorneys, no letterhead, no nothing, just to see if they would negotiate with me. And they would. And I've told you guys before that my very first one ever was for... I think it was for $2,000. I know exactly the name of the company. Um, here it is right here. This is the very first one I ever got. I told you guys I wrote the kit in 2018. 
the very first settlement that I ever got for myself just as a consumer. Look at the date. I, I His name is recognizable in the signature. That's why I'm not showing it. Look at the date. May of 2018. $2,000. That's the first one I ever got as a, just not with a law firm, no help, no nothing. And it was one of those people that wanted to buy my house. Wait, you can go out? Yes. That's the first one I got. And I was like, hmm. The second one I got was one of those auto deals. And it was for the three grand. And I was like, okay, I'm on to something. I started developing the kit and invited about 50 friends to kind of be in a beta test group. It's like, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to send me all the data you can collect. Here's what I want you to try to collect. And then based on what you collect, I'm going to identify who it is. And if I can identify who it is, I'm going to give it back to you along with a template letter. And I want you to send it off. Whatever you make, you keep. I don't want any part of it. I just want to know if it works. And I did that for about three months and people were making five figure sums because nobody was doing what I was doing back then. So I took the data, the tips, tools, techniques, tactics, and strategies that I was using and that all these people in this beta group were using. And I created the kit and I released it in September of 2018. 2019 is when I reached out to Steve Noviello. As a matter of fact, hold on a minute. I can show you guys, I believe, I think I can show you where I reached out to him. Here he is. Here is his Instagram. <coughs> um, let's see. And it was actually, here it is. It was October 13th, 2018. Steve Noviello, Fox. I'm make sure I'm not showing a phone number or anything. Steve Noviello, Fox 4 News. Right there. You can see his name up there at the top. He is verified. He's a reporter. Dallas Fort Worth area. You should see what I'm doing with robocallers. I'm making them. I'm um I'm busting them and making them pay me. He said, tell me more. I don't know if you remember. Um I'm trying to find the part where I talk about the kit specifically. One of the things I use, thank you, Jamie. One of the things I used to bust these unscrupulous collectors with was busting them for using auto dollars to illegally collect debts. Then I started looking into the auto dial telemarketing solicitations. As it turns out, those calls can be worth. I'm getting a scam likely call as we speak. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Great. What can I do for you, James? Hello. Yes. Are you there? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So do you understand that what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So can I ask? Uh, absolutely. Can I ask you yes. Something? If you have to ask oh, me before okay. you ask okay. me, that's two questions. Think it through. Okay. Okay. So if we show you a plan that's going to cover your car for five years with the additional 100,000 more miles in which your engine, transmission, and all the electrical and mechanical breakdowns cover with the lowest and reasonable price that you can pay easily. So you will think about it as an option, okay? Absolutely. Perfect. So, so can you please tell me how many mileage you have on the car? Um, let me ask you a question first. You you got to ask me a couple. Can I ask you a couple real quick? You have any question? Yes, I do. Just one. Okay. What? Like, like. Okay. Who who is the uh, seller on this vehicle service contract? 
I am not right person. My warranty specialist about uh, everything. Okay, can you just go ahead and transfer? So your me? car has qualified. Yeah, good. Just go ahead and okay, transfer. Okay, I will me. transfer your car. Yeah. Your okay. case. So first, you you just send. Uh, you just tell me about your car information. It's a, okay. Listen, sh- listen. It's a it's a Mercedes Benz. It's a twenty twenty one. E. Okay, it's a Mercedes Benz. Correct, and it's an E three hundred. Has eleven thousand, eleven thousand <laughs> miles, eleven thousand, eleven thousand miles. Yes. I have got. Uh, uh, can you please pronounce the first and la- uh, last name? Uh, yes, <laughs> it's Sam. S A M. Yeah. Last name is Sneed. S N E E D. If you know, you know. Okay. And are you a homeowner? Yes, I am. Okay. What stage you are currently in? Uh, Texas. Texas. You are interested, sir? So I have my warranty specialist on the line who will let you know about everything. Perfect. About benefits which you will receive for the next five years along. Okay. With that, Perfect. he give you breakdown the pricing. Let me bring him in the line for you. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Wait a second. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Somebody named Jessica said there's somebody else online right now doing the same thing. Tell me who it is. Send me a message with their profile. Like, share the live with me. I want to know who it is. I thought you were talking about busting the auto warranty people. Yeah. I know who Dale is. The the person that's on the phone right now. The person that's on the phone. Uh yeah. Dale's a friend of mine. Dale and I talked after the live stream the other day. Dale and I go way back. They're not gonna get me on the phone. Some other some other noodle head was probably trying to or whatever. So um we'll wait and see if they call back. If they do, then we'll play with them. But effectively, here's the deal. I buy the policy. And I'm not gonna do that live because I would have to give up real information, my personal accounts and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that. But um buy the policy. They'll let you do a monthly payment deal. They cost next to nothing. It's like 200 bucks, right? And then they send you a packet. And inside that packet has the exact name of the seller. That's who you go after, period. That's it. That's all you have to do. And they say, we didn't call you. Really? How did you sell this policy to me? How'd you get my information? Because that's the only way you sell them. And then they cut you a check. Think Think I'm BSing? I'm not. Google me, mother. I'm telling you. So anyway, all right, let's make another call because uh, I've been on for a while and we've gotten distracted. Or I, I say we. It's me. It's, it's Hi, it's me. 
I'm the problem, it's me. Uh, a Norton from right now. That sounds good. A Norton subscription request. $89 and something or other. If you have a question, give us a call. All right, I'll call you. Let's see what happens. It's an 866 number, supposedly for to pay Norton via PayPal. And I'm going to do boop if I can get somebody on the phone. I'm just going to try and say boop as many times as I can. Hello? I don't know what's going on. There's something wrong with my phone. I can't hear you very well. Uh, yes, I can hear you, but it's not coming through my headphones. Hold on a minute. Okay. There we go. Now I can hear you. I'm sorry. I don't know what was going on. There's something wrong with my Bluetooth or something. Anyhow, uh, I got some weird email that come to me. Say something or other about uh, there's this little uh, boop colored deal banner at the top says Venmo on it. And then it's got a uh, little boop letters that says Norton subscription uh, requests $89.99. You paid $89.99. If it's not you, quickly call us. And then it gives me this number. And then there's a little blue, uh, a little blue boop thing underneath it that says pay, pay Norton. So I read this and I was okay. like thumbing through it. And I was like, wait. I need to boop who? Venmo is a service of payboop, uh, a licensed provider of monetary transfer services and all that. So I don't know what's happening, but. All right. Uh, first of all, you have to send me your first and last name. Uh, so yes. I'm going to check what's going on in my phone. Uh, yes, it's uh, Martin, M A R T I N. Okay, hold on, sir. I can go ahead and check what's going on, okay? Just okay. hold on. Okay, no problem. I'll boop right here. All right. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Uh, yes. So, as I can see in my server, you have been charged of $89 your auto renewal subscription plan of uh, for Rainbow. So what about the plan, sir? Do you like to say cancel or you want to can keep it, sir? Uh, you said it's a... I'm sorry, I didn't hear what in the boop you said. It's a It's a what? I'm saying... Uh, it's, uh, sir, actually, you have been charged of $89 your Norton subscription plan from Rainbow. So what about the plan? Do you like to keep it or you want to cancel? Uh, no, I think probably I probably just want to get rid of it. Can we just can we just cancel it and uh, all right? If you my, want to cancel, get my money boot. Yeah. Okay, okay. No need to worry. We can we can definitely we can do that, sir. If you want to cancel it, so you have to be in front of your computer. I'm gonna sending you the refund form cancellation and the refund form and you have to fill out the form the next one minute our company is going to cancel this payment and get reverse back okay so i'm holding the line you have to be in front of the computer i uh, uh yeah I'm, I'm sitting here it's uh it's it's open right now i'm, I'm looking right boop at it okay can you open okay open up your inter, uh, internet browser do you have a google chrome browser on your computer yes i have boopal open right now okay now you need to open it and now you have to see on the very top top right left hand side do you see search box over there long search panel 
Uh, yes, it can be it's got this the little bar. blue line around it. Yeah, I see it. And it, it's gotten a big multicolored letters on it that says Bugle. Yeah. Yeah. You need to make it empty first. You need okay. to make it empty. Okay, it's empty. And now you have to write, write, it, write it down. All is going to lower a case, okay? Type right. in Amazon Wait, hold Mary. On, hold on, I had it as, uh, hang on. I had it as uppercase. Okay. Let me fix it. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. okay. Do you see that? Yes, I'm okay. on the Google page right now. Okay. Okay, now you need to type in the search box, M as in Mary. Okay. Sir, I don't mean to, I, I, I'm not trying to be a, a, a bother or anything, but I can barely hear you. It sounds like you're talking to me from inside of a wind tunnel. Is there any way you can put a, turn down the boop no, on your, sir. can okay. you turn down the boop on your phone okay. a little bit and see if maybe that doesn't help? Because the, the boop is, it's it's almost as bad as feedback. Sir, I know that, sir. First of all, you have to cancel the subscription plan for your... Uh, we need to remove that subscription, which is already delivered from your site. Okay. So that's well, the reason I'm going to connect we'll just, to you. We'll just have to move on. Go ahead. So where do I, where do I need to go? You said uh, you needed me to just put okay. a little... Uh, yeah, a, a you need to there. type in... I'm the, okay, you need to type I, in search box. You yes. need to type in search box. Okay. Well, oh, I need to be the in a search box. Is, okay. Boop. There it is. Yeah. Go ahead. Amazon mother. Amazon mother. Yep. All right. P as in papa. Boop. All right. R as in Roger. Boop. Got it. O as in Oscar. Okay. Boop. F, F, F as in finger. Got it. I as in ice cream. Boop. Got it. F as in x ray. Boop. Got it. Give a dot like a period. Okay. Boop. All right. Then O as in then O R G. Oscar. O as an Oscar. You, you said O R G, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. O R G. That's okay. great. <laughs> now hit the. There we go. Hit the interpreter from you. All right. Hit the inter. Hit the interpreter from you. Now, what do you see that? Okay, there's a uh, there's a boop green bar across the very top, and then there's like a, a little boop in the middle right. that. Says secure server RSA 4096 boop encryption support inner service boop and then there's like a, a there's a little uh, white boot with a green uh, boot around it and then there's like a light gray circle with a dark gray arrow right smack in the middle of it right there. Do you see, do you see support? Uh, do you see secure server like that? Yes. Support, yeah, asking, that's what I, uh, that's what I was just telling you. All that stuff. Man, the boob is now, bad on this phone call. Middle of this page. Can you just can you just read out to me what is saying middle of this page? Uh, secure server, RSA four zero nine six boop encryption support, inner service boop. And then there's like a little rectangle with green around the edges, and then it's got one of those little. Uh, Little blinking cursor you, deals, like, boop, boop, boop. and then right okay, next to okay. that, there's a small gray circle with a dark gray arrow inside of it, and it's okay, uh, and looping off to the right. Do you see any that? Uh, do I see what? Do you see the, Do you see the any that? The what? Did you? See? Do you see the any that? By do I need to enter? Do you see any that? Is that something you need me no, to no. go? Do you see the any deck? Do I need to go there? No, do you see the any deck? Do I see? No, no, do you see any deck? Red color box over there? Oh, yeah, right there. Boop. Got it. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, listen, wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet because I have something for you. Oh. Um, wait a minute. 
Here we go. There's his number. Let's uh, let's show him how much we love him. This is probably somebody who's got his phone shut down, so he, he doesn't have anything else to do today. Thank you for getting connected to Vem Vemro Pulsation Department. This is Henry. How are you today? Uh, yeah, Henry. I was just on the uh, on the any desk talking to another one of them fellows. I forget his name. And uh, I, I needed to see if I can't get him back on the phone so we can talk for a minute. We were just right about to, he, I had given him the numbers and stuff, and he was about to help me get a refund. Okay, so what do you see on your computer screen? Uh, well, I'm on that, uh, what do you call it, that little any desk thing? Okay. And it's got the numbers across the top there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, little boy. You wanted to play a game. We finna play a game now. We finna play, boy. Come in here talking all that mess. About to wreck your afternoon, partner. Oh, they just hung up. <laughs> Their phone's ringing a fair amount right now. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a minute. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, they just stopped answering the phone. I love it. Works for me. Either way, Kurz, I win. Yeah, they're they killed the phones. Booyah! Play silly games, win silly prizes, Ben Chad. That put me in very good spirits. <laughs> I don't know how he figured it out, to be totally honest with you, unless he was watching. He might have been watching. Uh, <laughs> he might have been watching a YouTube channel or something. <coughs> I think it's great. You know, because when those guys are actually watching, they're actually, I make revenue from that. <laughs> the number of people that are watching. <coughs> so the more they watch, they're actually helping the cause. I love that. You're supporting your own demise, mental giants. All right, let's go. We got another Norton. I'm fired up now. That was kind of fun. All right, we got ourselves an 802 number. Let's see. We're going to do boop again, though, uh, because that connection was bad, and I'm not going to be able to use it. So who told me the other word? <laughs> boop, yeah, that's funny. There was another word I told somebody to save. What was the other word? Peep. Peep's the other one. I got another one after this I want to do. This is going to be so much fun. I went to voicemail. Or it forwarded. A lot of times you call. Thanks for getting connected with customer support. This is Harry Wilson. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I got some weird email. I was in here just peeping around in my email and I just happened to notice I got something this morning and peep this. It says in there that somebody done charged me $368.99. And I don't know who in the bow peep done it, but they, I, I need to get to somebody on the phone that uh, can help me get this sorted out because I mean, I, I ain't I didn't order this Norton. What does it say? Norton security for a year. All right. Just confirm me your email address. Uh, yes, uh, it is. Randy R A N D Y. 
Are you ready? I'm sorry. I got. I just started. I didn't ask if you were ready. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Just okay. Me. I'm sorry, Randy. Last name is R A M B L E R at yahoo.com. All right. Let's come down a moment. Okay. Take your time. I'm I'm just sitting here right now peeping these this email, trying to figure out who done this. I don't know if somebody's been peeping into my emails or my account somehow. They've been in there peeping around trying to steal. All right, as I can see that, sir. What? As I can see that, sir, that your account that your account has recently been charged. Yes. Okay. And do you want me to cancel that out? Is it correct? Absolutely. Now, when you peep in there, can you see that three hundred and sixty-eight dollar ninety-nine cent charge? I haven't gone in and peeped in my account yet, but. Uh, do you, yes, you do say okay. Uh, if it's not charged yet, okay. As I can see, from my answer, I can see that the um, money has already been charged. But if you are not able to see that on your account, it might be that it not has been charged yet. But it will be going to be charged. Okay. So okay. do you want me to cancel that out for you, sir? Uh, yeah. If you could do that, it would absolutely be amazing. Okay. So you just need to be in front of your computer, sir. As it looks like a matter of a fraud charge, so you need to go through a simple verification process. Okay. So are you in front of your computer right now? Yeah, I'm peeping it right now. I got it sitting right here. What do I need to do? Just tell me where to go and I'll I'll peep it in and we can get get going. All right, just open up your Google Chrome. Okay, yes. And now search for anydesk.com. This will help you get you connected to the Modern Life 360 server that will automatically verify you. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, would, I was looking at the email again. Uh, what, what's it called? What's a, is this a website I'm supposed to go to? It's, yes, sir. It's <laughs> anydesk.com. Dot com. <laughs> Any desk. Do I need to tell you what okay. Thing? All right. I think let me peep it real quick, make sure I spelled it right. Yes. Any peep 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 dot com. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm on their website. It says uh better software, the smart choice. Yes, do you see there's an article download now? Do you see download now, sir, over there? Yes, there's like a red button. And then if you peep over to the right, it says yes, click on that. start business trial. Click on click on the business trial. Click on download now. Oh, download now. No, okay. just download now. Okay, got it. There we go. Okay. Now, oh, peep this. It's got a deal. It's like it downloaded any desk dot uh, peep x peep. To my computer, is that is that what we're looking for? Do I need to click on that or something? Uh, do you see it says anidas.exe? Say again. Just open it up. Open up the file. Open okay. up the file, sir. That has been downloaded on your. Screen. Okay. 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 Now, okay, it's got a a red deal, and if you peep down below that, it's. Uh, it says free license, non professional use. Start your trial license or peep your address. And then peep this. It's got all these numbers. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, read, ten read those numbers. numbers and those, read those numbers. It says it's my. I just want to tell you, peep this out. It says that it's ten, uh, your address. But that's that. That's just not, read those numbers to me. Oh. You just need me to peep those numbers to you? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you repeat yourself. Okay. It's, um, let's see here.
Yes, sir. You got it absolutely correct. Now, just look beside those numbers. Do you see a lock sign? Give a click on that lock, sir. Okay. I don't peep no lock sign yet. Oh, wait. There it is. Just okay. beside those numbers. Right over here. I wasn't uh, originally when I was uh, looking it for it. I didn't peep ask, it, but now I peep it. It okay. is going to ask you for a password. It is yeah, going to ask you for a password. The password word. is in small, only dash one, two, three. Okay. Little slower. I, I, I'm having a hard Andy time hearing you. Wait, listen, I'm having a hard time hearing you. It sounds like your phone's kind of muffled. I don't know if it's like maybe your headphones or headset or something. Okay. What'd you say it was? It's any desk, any desk, one, two, three. Okay. And then there's a little a peep button down at the bottom. Do I need to click on that as well? Uh, just uh, do one. Just, just apply the password first. Oh, okay. And that's uh, one, two, three. Apply the peep word. Oh. Okay. All right, I did. Now, peep this. It's got a thing that says interactive access. And uh, now, do you see? There's something says never so incoming session request. Never peep. 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 Peep, peep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about it? Okay. Now, do you see? Uh, just check, click on never saw incoming session request. Okay. Uh, that's the one, two, peep. Uh, that's the third one down at the, down near the, uh, the peep where it says, okay. All right. I done it. Now what? Just give me a moment, sir. Be on the line. Okay, great. Now, there, I see something. Just give me a moment. I see something that's popped up on my screen here. It's some little chat box or something says Lenovo, and then it's got a bunch of numbers on it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's connected, and then it's got all these little blue peep boxes, and up the top it says chat. I guess I'm supposed to send a chat deal, test, and then I hit the enter. Hello? Well, that says session request canceled. What in the peep is that? Sir? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know what in the Bo Peep happened, but it, there's this thing up here. It says canceled now. There was some kind of – he just hung up. Um, let's call him back, though, real quick. And most importantly – Calling Norton, how may I help you? Um, yes, sir. Uh, my name is Beverly Leslie. I just received um, some email that came in, and I don't know exactly what this is all about, but it says that I've been charged $368.99. Yes, Leslie, can you help me out with the invoice number or the transaction ID? Um, the invoice number's here at the top, 5892653. Allow me a moment. All right. And like you said, you do not authorize making any subscriptions to Norton. Uh, no, Could I... there be anybody else who uses your computer? No, not at all. I'm a widow, so there's it's literally just me in the house. Okay. As I can see, it's a business premium plan, Miss Leslie. I can help you cancel this. All right. uh, are you sitting Thank next you. to your computer at the moment? Um Yeah, I've got my laptop sitting right here. 
Yeah, try and open up your browser like Google. All right. Let me know once you're ready. Okay. It's a... On the very top. On the very top, where you can type in the uh, website, you will need to type the letter S like Sam. All right. See, like Charlie. Okay. Let's see. Got it. Oh. Oh, as an Oscar. Uh huh. M like Mexico. All right. F like Frank. All right. I as an ice cream. All right. X like X-ray. All right. Now put a period like a dot and right. type O like an Oscar. All right. R like Robert. Click the follow button right now. Before it's too late, time's running out. G, it like is a limited time golden. offer. Click the follow button right now. All right. I'm on your little website. It's got a green stripe across the top of it. And it says yeah. there's like a box in the middle. And it says secure server RSA 4096 BIT encryption support. And it says... Then there's a, like a box. A it says code. inner service code. Yes, you need to put in the code that is the last four digits of your phone number. It's one five zero five. All right. Now click on the arrow pointing right hand side. You will have the cancellation form link on your downloads that says support client. All right. dot tx okay yeah give okay, yeah. a click on that once you have it yeah ready All and right. make it open go with the positive options if you have yes or no go with yes and it will automatically direct you to the cancellation form page okay it says do you want to allow the following program to yeah, make changes yes, okay activate life all Let right. me know once you see a cancellation form that appears on your screen, ma'am. All right. Okay. Now, okay, now wait a minute. Okay. Now, um, when that says cannot start application, contact your system administrator or network service provider, and it has a little, um, little white button that says okay. But that's all it has. Click on OK. Is okay, that, that your work laptop? No, sorry. This I haven't worked in years. I'm retired. Uh, this is my it's personal laptop, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now search for uh, anydesk.com on the top search bar. All right. It should be A like Napu and like Nancy. Yeah, I like Yank. It says, yep. I, I went to their website. It says the smart choice for remote access. Then it's, it's got a big thing. It says better software. Yeah. The, just below that, do you see it says download <laughs> now? Uh, yes. Do I need to click on that? Yeah, give a click All on right. download now All and right. you will see the AnyDesk EXE coming up on your downloads. Yeah, I see it right there. Okay. Yeah, make it open and you will have the address number generated by the oh, AnyDesk. Yeah. It's right Let there. You know. It says it's my address, but it's not my address at all. It doesn't have my street name or nothing. Right. Do you see a number? Yes, it's um, it's like ten digits on there. Yeah, help me up with that. Read it out to me. Oh, read you that number? Is that what you mean? Yeah, help me up with the numbers that uh, you see.
it. Okay, just allow me a moment while I try and connect you to the server, okay? Right. Once you see a cancellation form that appears on your screen, let me know. All right. Might take some time because it depends on the server. Once you see any options like I am aware of the risk or I accept, click on accept the green box. All right. All right. I see it there. It says Steve. Is that you? Yeah. All right. I see it now. It says accept. And now it's got like a little chat box still that's opened. And there's a bunch of little, and it says accept again. Do I click on that? Yeah, I did. I clicked on it. Did it work? Is your server working? Well, now it disappeared now. He hung up. <laughs> <coughs> this woman is, um, she must be a, a diver. You know how divers go like this when they put their hands in the water like really fast? She's a diver, this one. I'm going to call again, see if we get a different person. Or if they've figured me out and blocked my number. When you hear that change in rings, that typically means that you're dialing. Thank you for being online. This is David. How may I help you? Oh, uh, yes, sir, David. I got an email that come to me. Uh, and it says that there's uh, some sort of charge on my account for $368.99. And I don't know what in you know, a Sam Hill it says, but I didn't alter it. It says it's a Norton, uh, and it's got a invoice number on it. Do you need that? Mm -hmm. What? No, sir. Minute. What? Hello? Hello? What? Oh, Sam Hill? Hello? Just a minute, sir. Oh, okay. I thought I lost you. Just a minute, sir. Okay. So Take your time. Hello? Yeah. Hello? What in the hell? Thanks for getting connected with the online health tech support. This is Eric. How may I help you today? Uh, hello? I think I got transferred to you or something. I don't know what happened. Hello? Yes. Like what, what type of mail did you receive? Well, I, I got some sort of email that come to me about Hello? Uh, yes, hello. What hello? type of email, sir, did you receive? Yeah, I got a, uh email saying that there was some kind Sorry? of charge for $368.99 on my account. I don't know what they said. Yes, hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, what? Hello? Yes. Hello? What in the Sam Hill? Hello? That kind of worked out.
Hello. Uh, yeah, David. I don't know what's happening. I called just a second ago, and I, I don't know if somebody tried to transfer me or something, but I ended up uh, there was something weird happened on the phone, and we got disconnected. I need to get somebody to talk to me. I got an email that come in and said something or other about me being charged three hundred and sixty eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what what it's some Norton something. It's Norton security for one year. All right. And sir, who am I speaking to say? What's your first and last name? Uh my name is Lou. L O U. And, and my your last name? Last name is S A. S S O H L. It's pronounced say so. Okay. Yes. So, uh, uh, do you want to go ahead and close this account that is activated right now? Yes, please. I don't know how it got even there to begin with. Can you hear me? Yes. Thanks. Uh, very good afternoon. This is Eric. How can I help you today? Hello? Hello. Very good afternoon. How can I help you today? Yeah. I don't know if I got transferred or something. I don't know what's happened. Did what? Did you add someone to the call? What? Did you add someone on the call? Who is this? No, is this the Norton people? Yes, this is Norton. Okay, I don't know what's uh, happening. Y'all's y'all's phones is acting strange or something. Uh, I don't know if you's the one I talked to a minute ago. I got this email. Say something or other about me being charged three hundred sixty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents, and I need to get this canceled. He just hung up. He did not want any part of that. So here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna call from this phone. Sorry, make sure we get that line. Do y'all hear that feedback when I'm plugging those in? No, no. Some people say yes and some people say no. So I think it's just a volume thing. Um, all right. I'm going to try something different now. Thank you for all of the gifts and stuff, guys. I'm just putting what it shows me. Thank you, David. How can I help you? Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is this is this Norton by Simon Tech? Yeah, this is Norton. I'm right. speaking to David, Mom. Uh, well, hi, David. My name is Beverly Leslie. I have received a very strange email that says something about me being charged for a Norton security for one year and i already have security services here at my house so i don't know exactly how this happened is this like an alarm system or something yes ma'am uh you've got a reminder 
because yeah. your antivirus is about to expire right now. So that's mm-hmm. the reason you've got this invite to my, close this account. And I'm sorry, my what yeah. has expired? I'm confused. So your antivirus, which is for your computer, yeah. your computer antivirus is expire right now. That's the reason okay. you received that email. All right. In regards to a purchase. All right. Well. Does this mean that I've already been charged? No, ma'am. You've got 24 hours for the charge to be taken off. Okay. So if you confirm uh, your first and last name, and what first and last name, could you confirm that with you, please? Yes, my first name is Beverly. That's B-E-V-E-R-L-Y. Okay. And my last name is Leslie, L-E-S-L-I-E. Okay. And right now, could you just confirm with me, Beverly, do you have your laptop or your computer in front of you where you've received that email? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So right now, the antivirus is for your computer. And as it's about to expire, that's the reason you've received that invoice from our company regarding the renewal. So, Beverly, you're telling me you don't want this purchase, right? No, I don't even know I had whatever this is. Okay, so let me tell you that Battery's dead the Norton LifeLock 360 antivirus, it's your computer antivirus. And right now, it's on an auto-renewal. That's the reason you've received that email. Right. So if you just do me a favor, if you get it in front of your computer, uh, I'll be giving you the cancellation form since you don't want this account to activate. And we'll go ahead and get it closed for you. Okay? Okay. Well, that's fine. How do I do it? What do all I right. need to do? Yeah, so first of all, what you need to do is, one, you just need to go ahead and switch on your computer. Once all your right. computer switched on, move further, I'll guide you. All right, it's on. I'm I'm on the um the email right now. Where do I need okay. to? Okay, and is it your? Just tell me where I laptop? need to go. It's a it's one of those little fold up ones that you can carry. Laptop, I guess. Okay, the folding one that you can carry, right? Yes. All right. So, do you use the Google Chrome ma'am, on your laptop? Um. Well, I just click a button when I want to get when I want to get on the internet, and it just takes me straight to the Google search thing. Is that right? Okay, and is it a touch touch screen that you're using? What? Is it a touch screen that you're using, or it's a laptop? No, it's like a. I guess it's a laptop. Okay, it's got a big screen <laughs> and a keyboard, right? <coughs> yeah, it's like all the little buttons on it. Okay, and it's, it's not, not one of those like my grandkid. My grandkids had those little flat ones that you just touch the screen and stuff, but that that's not what this is. This one folds in half. It's like bigger. Okay, okay. So on this one, what you need to do is uh open up the Google Chrome. So when you browse your internet, you use a browser, right? I don't know what, I I just go to the Google and type in what I need. Yeah, so just open up the Google and get ready to type, tell you what you need to type. All right. Okay, I'm there. In your Google. Now have a look on top of the screen you'll see there's a long address bar where you can type in something. Uh-huh. All right, yes. Okay, so right now over there, on top of your screen, you'll see it's an address bar, HTTP address bar. All right, yes. Like if I okay, want to so type in, written a, like when I'm typing in websites, that's what you're talking about, right? Correct. Right. So right now, 
Yahoo, whatever type you know there, and type in it is G for Google. Mm-hmm. Then it's C for Charlie. Mm-hmm. All right. Then it's O for Orange. All right. Then it's M for Mary. All right. Then it's P for Penguin. All right. Then it's R for Roger. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Then it's O for Orange. All right. Then it's dot or full stop. I'm sorry. What you said? What after O? You said what? It's a dot. Oh, okay. Dot, like a period. Yes, a okay. period. Oh, so like dot com. No, it's dot o r g. All right. O r g. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll just read up what you type in there. Uh, it says g com pro dot org. Correct. Now just go ahead and give a click on search, and you'll be receiving. It asks you for secured code. Do you see that? It, yeah, it it's for like a service code. it's got like a little blue line across the top oh and then there's like a box in the middle it says secure server rsa4096 right. and then it's capital bit encryption support enter service code and then there's like a correct right. one of those little blinking placeholder deals correct right. so where it says enter service code uh huh enter the service Going to give you it's seven nine two three six. I'm sorry, honey. You said seven nine two three what? Seven nine two three six. Okay. Well, now there's a little blue X and a little blue circle with a white arrow in it off to the right. Correct. And the number that you've typed in is seven nine two three six. six. Yes. Right? Perfect. Yeah. Now just go ahead and click on that <laughs> arrow. <coughs> Have you clicked on that arrow? Uh huh. Okay. Now wait a minute. Now. It's like it's downloaded something. Correct. It says so right. Support look on the dot right hand client dot exe has been downloaded. Is that correct? Okay. We'll click on that. All right. On the support client. All right. And it'll ask you to run. It, well, it says nothing has popped up. It's kind of like gray, and then there's a white box, and it says. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? And then it has buttons uh, on, yes and no. Click on yes. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Now there's, oh dear. There's a thing that's popped up. It doesn't. It says cannot start application. Contact your system administrator and, or network service provider. And then it's okay. got a button that says "Okay" down at the bottom. You will click on "Okay." All right. Well, that just takes me back to your little no. website with the blue on it. If you haven't clicked the follow button, Correct. do it now. So you can see that arrow. It's asking you for do a service code. Hurry. Yeah, it's back to that same place that has the um, the little box. I still see the little numbers. It says enter service code and all that. And it says 
two, three, six. And then it has the little arrow pointing to the right. Okay, click on that arrow. All right. All right. Now it's downloaded that thing again. Support dot client, but this time it has the number one in parentheses next to it. Dot exe. So it's like the same thing, but it's like a like I guess another one. Um, on the support client exe, the one. Okay. Click on it. Click on it. Double click okay. on it. And it says. It does the can do you want to allow the following program to make changes uh, to your computer? And then it's got the yes button and the no button again. Click on yes. All right. Okay, now my computer's working again. It's like got a thing that's spinning on the screen. And it okay. I got this. I got that same message that I got last time. It says, "Cannot start application. Contact your system administrator or network service provider." And then it's got the OK button underneath there. Okay, give a click on the OK. Right. And ma'am, uh, do you have a connection? I'm sorry. Do I have what? Do you have an internet connection? Yeah, it's downloading your little thing over and over. Or, to, well, not over and over, but twice. So it's working fine. Okay, uh, so do one thing. Have a look on top of your screen on the right hand side. Do you see uh, this three dots? Three dots. Yes. I put the cursor on top of it and it says customize and control Google Chrome. Okay, give a click so on I it. I guess this is that Chrome thing you were talking about. Oh, click on it. Click on it. On those dots? Yes, click on those okay. dots. Oh, Lord. It opens up a whole bunch of stuff. New tab, new window, new incognito window. Person one, oh, okay. passwords and autofill, oh. history, downloads, bookmarks and lists, Correct. extensions, Good. clear browsing data, Quick. Zoom. I'm not print. talking. To hello. What? Hello. What? Hello. What? Hello. I'm can you, you hear me? You five six. Can you? I can hear you. Okay. I thought I lost you. For Follow a my. What? Now look, you'll see the downloads options over there. Do you see downloads? Mm hmm Click on the downloads. Okay. Oh, look there. It's got all the things that I've downloaded. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. The first, it says support client exe. Well, no, the first one says support dot client, and then it has a little one in parentheses. And then the dot exe on it. Folder. What? It says it says show in folder. Okay. Yes. You click on that. Okay. Now this is like the same thing, I guess, but it's more computery looking, and it's got like a list of all of the things. Okay, now do you see support line over there? Yeah, it's the very first one. Double click on it. Okay. Okay, now it's giving me that. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes thing again? Click on yes. <laughs> do you see a run option coming up over there? A run? No. Just has yes and no. Do I click on yes again? Click on yes. Okay. Yes. All right, yes. I did it. Okay. Now it's working again. It's got the little circle thing in the center of the thing. And now, 
Okay, there that same thing popped up again. Cannot start application. Do you think it's because my computer's old? It's not as old as I am, but it is kind of old. I don't know if that. Do you matters. have an internet connection? Yes, I do. I looked down there at the bottom because I, that was one of the first things I thought of. But it's it's got a little kind of a cone shaped deal with lines on it to show me if I had the internets, and I do. I've got it. It has a bunch of little okay. semicircle things. Do you have any it. other computer? Do I have what, honey? Do you have another laptop or computer, mom? No, this I'm not very tech smart. This is the only one I have. Okay, no worries. Uh, do and have a look on the right hand side. You'll see the cross, the X. Mm -hmm. Just X it out. All right. X out the cross. All right. Just click on it. Okay. That's everything. Okay. Now I'm back on my little homie thing now. The whatever that screen was. Okay. My picture of me and the cats. Okay. Now you're back on your home screen. Now look for the icon, the Google Chrome icon. Okay. Like to go on the internet. <coughs> yes. All right. I'm on it. Now, right on top of your screen, on the extreme top, where you typed in before, uh -huh. type in over there again. Okay. Get ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. It's G for Google. Yes. Then it's C for Charlie. All right. Wait, it's doing that same website. Is that what we want? No, no. Uh, we're doing the same thing. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's it because it put all the letters in there. G com pro. Dot o -R -G. Dot. Do I just click on it again? Right. All right. Yes, click on it. All right. Now, does it ask you for a secure code? Yeah, I'm back to that page, but this time it's blank. It doesn't have that number in it like it did before. Okay, now I'll give you the number. Just type it in over there. All right. It's two nine. We're 20 minutes into this call. I'm sorry, honey. Nine, seven. Oh. Two, nine, what? Two, nine, seven, five, six. All right. And just read out the number. Okay, now it's got two, nine, seven, five, six. And now it's got the little arrow again, the blue circle with the white arrow in it. Let's click on that. And after you click on it, just tell me what comes up, okay? Because you have to click on it correctly. All right. Well, it's now, now it's got touch. support dot client, and it has the number two in parentheses this time. Dot exe. Okay. Now, double. Can you double click on that support? Uh, where did you see it? On the right hand side on top. No, and it's down on the bottom left. Okay, so do you see there's an arrow over there? But there's just like a little pop-up thing that says that it's downloaded. Yes. That. And it's small, just like a small arrow. Okay. So I need to Can you click on I need it? to click on it again. All right. Yes. yes. And it'll ask you to run the file. No, it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? And then it's got, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, yes, I, and no, down at the bottom of the white boxes. We'll click on yes, and at the white box, does it have run? No, it does, nothing says run. Okay, it's doing the thing okay. again where it's like working or something. And now it's okay. I got that. 
I got that same message again, honey. I'm, it says cannot start application. It's like words, uh, the box. And at the top, it says cannot start application. And then underneath, it has inside this little box saying contact your system administrator or network service provider. And then it has a little square box. Well, it's a rectangle, kind of. But it says, okay. Just give me a minute. All right. He's flipping through the manual right now, looking for that error message. Which if he can find anything that looks like it, it's going to tell him that I have Windows 7 which is a much, much older version. And that might be the problem. The hope being that he'll take me somewhere else. So man, uh, can you tell me who is the main user of the computer? Is it you? Oh, it's only me, honey. And no one else apart from you, right? No, honey, it's just me. I, just, I'm, I live alone. I'm a widow. So... Yeah, I'm so sorry. Just a minute, Len. Just give me a minute. And is this computer your husband or it's yours? No, it's mine. It's yours. Okay. My husband passed on several years ago. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, when you switch on your computer, that time it asks you to uh, switch user. Do you see? No, it, it has me put in a little four-digit code, and then it just takes me straight to my stuff. This guy cannot, for the life of him, figure okay. out why it's not working. So he's kind of freaking out right so, now. So uh, do one thing, ma'am. All right. Now, on the left-hand side, of, at the bottom corner, Windows logo. I, I'm sorry, honey, your phone broke up or something. No. I can't hear it. What'd you say? Okay, so on the left hand side of your screen at the bottom corner, can you see there's a there's a Windows logo over there? Yeah, it's the one it looks just like the one on my there's a sticker on my keyboard here. It says Windows seven and it looks just like that. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's on your screen. Look right. on your screen. Click on that. Okay. Now, after you click on that, do you see the, the switch off option? The power off. Power. I say, oh Lord. I say all kinds of stuff. Minute. What am I looking for okay, again? Do you, see? do you see the thing? Okay. The I see, the go I see the power thing now. Okay, click on the power. It's like a circle with a little line coming out of the top of it. Exactly. Click on that. All right. Okay. Now it has when you click sleep, shut down, okay. and yep. restart. Click on Click on sleep. What? Honey, your phone is breaking up real bad. I can't hardly hear you. I'm so sorry. So now I was asking you to click on sleep. Sleep. All right. Yeah. Now when you click the screen will go on. It says the oh wait a minute. It says the PC stays on but uses low power. Wait a minute. It keeps coming off. Stay open to when the PC wakes up. You instantly back to where you left off. All right. I'm supposed to just click on the yes. Uh, do you see the sleep option? Yes. It's got like a little moon next to it. Yeah, it's like a moon, right? Yes. Click on that. Click on the sleep. All right. Right. Oh no. Now, now my, my screen yes. is just black. 
Yes. Now, what you need to do is, now from your mouse, move your mouse. Like on the little thing on the... No, the yeah. mouse, uh, you can see the mouse, I... your mouse. Just move the mouse. Nothing is happening. Just screen. Shake it about a little bit. All right. Okay, now it takes me back to my little screen with the picture on it. Okay, and it doesn't it doesn't say sign in. No. Or switch user. When when I it's like a thing that it goes to when the computer's not working, I think. And then but now it's now it's got my thing pulled up. Like my thing where I put in that four digit code. Okay. Remember, I told you it has a four digit code? <coughs> okay, just a minute. Mom. And I, when I did that, and that takes me back to your little, like I just popped up to your little website. That one that says, inner service code and has all those little numbers you gave me. Okay. Uh, We're 27 call. minutes into this call. If this guy ever takes me anywhere where I can show him something, he is going to be so mad. Am I supposed to be doing something? Honey? I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, so mom, just do me a favor. Can you open up a new page? Uh, All right. That's where I clicked that little plus uh, sign, right? Yeah. Okay, Bobby. yes. Okay, now I'm on the Google. Okay, now right on top of the screen over there, you need to type in. It's S-U-P. All right. It's going to take me to Supremo, R -E which is one I don't like either, but it's Supremo. still going to be fun. S U P R C M O. Sounds like a pizza. Right. <laughs> so did you type in Supremo? Su Supremo, yeah. Like dot com or something. S -U -P yes, put in Supremo dot com. <laughs> <coughs> And give a click on search, and what comes up, just read it out to me. All right. Well, it's searching right now. Like the little circle deal is spinning. It says, like at okay, the top it... where it says new tab. Yeah, okay, let it circle. Oh, dear. It says, this site can't be reached. www. Supremo.com took too long to respond. Is that, I don't know what that means. Okay, just give me a minute. All right. Okay, just uh, type in. Uh, Supremo control. All right. Control. So, yes, supremo control dot com. Okay, now this one just came right up. It's not like that other okay, one. Okay, it has it says Supremo the best remote something on the little thing at the top. But there's a wide deal at the top. It's talking about cookies. We use technical okay, cookies now. to make sure you have the best experience on our website and analytical and profiling cookies, oh. including third party. Hey, hello, hello. Don't yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Your phone cut out. In order to collect information about how you interact uh, with our website to generate statistics and send advertisements, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, just a minute now. Now, 
Uh, do you see on the left hand side at the bottom you will see Supremo and it says remote desktop control made easy and quick? Yes. Yes. Now do you see there's a blue uh, in blue it's written download. Well, I still have that cookies thing on the screen. It says cookie settings okay. or accept all. You will click on accept all. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now, after you've clicked on accept all, now do you see this, uh, the download, which is in a blue symbol, it's a blue highlighted well, there's box. A big earth, the left hand. There's a big earth on the screen. And it's like a star or something. I guess maybe the sun behind it. And then over to the left is where that words was that you said. Uh, remote desktop control made it easy and quick. And then there's three little buttons. Download, buy, and Suprema for remote working. And then okay, I can click scroll on download. down the page. And it says discover more. Mom. What? Click on the download. Oh, hang on. I have to go back up. You don't scroll down the page. Uh, if I tell you to scroll down, then you scroll down, okay? Just follow my instructions. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. All right. And uh, so Okay, are you talking about this little... Download? There's a little blue button that says download. Correct. Right. You will okay. click on that download. All right. Okay, now that downloaded... Another thing onto my computer, supremo.exe. Correct. Now, do you see there's an arrow? It's on the left hand side, bottom of the screen. I'm sorry. Um, we're talking about the. Is it at the bottom like that, of the screen what? on the left hand corner? You're talking about where it downloaded that thing? That supremo.exe? Is that what you're talking about? On, yes. my, on the left hand side down at the bottom. Just now where did you uh, where did you see the supremo.exe? It's on the bottom on the left hand side, honey. That's what I said. Correct. Now double click on it. Okay. After you double click on it, what comes up, let me know. All right. It's doing something. Okay, now it says user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? And then it's got all the other stuff. And then it has those two buttons at the bottom. Yes or no? Click on yes. All right. Okay, now this one seems to be working a little better. It's okay. It's got a de uh, like a white... Kind of a blue and white box Bob. that's popped up. Yeah. And it says the connection, contacts, yep. tools, license, sign in, don't have an account, register. And it's got like a little blue sailboat looking logo thing, I think, a little picture. And then on okay, there's and two columns. And on the left-hand side, it says receive. And it's got your ID, and it has a nine-digit number. Then it says copy access data, and then okay, um, now, it says, it says password. Your... And there's like letters and right. numbers all jumbled together. And then okay, on the right-hand side, ID? it says connect to, no. and there's like a box for me to type in. It says remote ID. Oh. What? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? So listen. Can you? Yes, I can, can hear you. Okay. You were reading and continued reading. I was not being able to stop you. That's oh, cool. I'm sorry. So now do you see it says your ID over there? Yeah, it's like there's like a little gray rectangle box and it says your ID in blue. And then it has a nine-digit sure. number off to the right. All of that nine to me? I'm sorry, what did you say, honey? Just call out that number that you see on your screen, which says your ID. Call that out to me. Okay, hold on just a second. I got to get my glasses.
Okay, and do you see that it's uh, giving you a password over there? Okay, um, and after that, yeah, you... and it's like a little jumble. Of, of it's like numbers and letters. This one, it's not and just numbers. The way it is, what's that? Call it out to me the way it's written over there. <clears throat> All right, it's three, and then the letter I, and they're little, like lowercase. Okay, yes. so, so three I nine two, and then A mm -hmm. as in apple, and M. Capital A or small? No, they're all little. There's no big ones. So A N. And no, M as in Mary. Okay, E M. Uh huh. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now just give me a minute and let me know what comes up on your screen. You'll be receiving an option that says accept. All right. So let me. Okay. All right. I don't say anything, honey. I don't know where it is. Can I use it on your screen? Do you see an accept option on your screen coming up? No, sir, not now. Not yet, I mean. Okay, just wait and just see you'll get an accept option. All right. This number is already posted in the chat. As soon as this guy figures out what's happening, that would be the time to uh, do the, the, the do the thing. Supremo takes forever to actually work, and boy, do I have something to show him. Okay, later. now on your screen, can you see? There's any option that says yes? No. I don't see anything on there. Okay, now are you on the Supremo page? Um, I'm, it wasn't a. Oh wait, now I see it. It says confirm remote access for desktop. Oh Lord, it just disappeared. You'll see. Yes, yeah, so do it soon, man. You'll see an accept option. Right, click on accept. I need to do so one. You will see an accept option over there. Click on accept as soon as you see it, or else it'll expire. It'll go away again. All right. Do you want to allow desktop, blah, 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 to? Okay, click on allow, yeah. you said, right? You know, just give me a minute now. Uh, can you just see the page? I'm sorry. Can you open up a new page? Open up a new page, yeah. Like click the little plus sign thing again. Is that what you mean? Yes, the plus sign. Okay. Now that hides that little okay, thing that was there. G C O M P R O. So what, honey? Am I supposed to be typing something? Yeah, type it in. G C O M. Okay, hold on just a second. G C. Oh, that's that thing we did before, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Now it gives me okay, now it's, it's got oh dear oh. what happened? I don't know what happened. Does it ask you for a service? Yeah. Okay, now type in the service code. It's 
बराबर नाइन टेन फाइव सिक्स आई एम सॉरी व्हाट डिड यू से हनी व्हाट इज इट Ready to type it in? It's two nine seven five six. Okay, so you said two nine seven five six. Um, it's been a great forty two minutes, man. I really appreciate all this time. Um, you're not going to get access to my computer, and if you did, all you were going to get is a, more more of the videos like I just showed you. Do you like that video? Because I called your office and they said, "Yeah, that's what he would definitely like." That'd be fun. I'm sorry. You want to kiss my what? Fucking white gun, black asshole. Oh my! Such nasty language, sir. What is wrong with you? Are you yeah. angry? No. Are you angry? You are, aren't you? Yeah, we've been wrapping y'all up for the yeah. last. We've been wrapping you guys up for the last couple of hours, so. Yeah, so. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. You need to get a better phone. I mean, if you're going to do this for a living, I mean, you're obviously pretty tech savvy, except that you didn't figure out that what I was doing to you and that I was just capturing all your data this whole time. But you really, you'd be better if you had a better phone. Is your? I'm just curious. Are you? Are you? Are you getting busy over there right now? Hmm. It, it sounds busy. What are you telling? I said, does it? Is it getting busy over there right now? It is getting busy. You think that's a coincidence? Obviously, it is a coincidence. Yeah, I'm sure it it's is. You that's doing it. Well, that would not be a coincidence. But... I don't know if you know what coincidence means. That would be two things happening randomly at the same time, but they're not randomly happening. Are you mad? It's okay to be mad. If there was ever a person that I think the word seething would be applicable, I think that dude is seething mad right now. Because not only was that call 45 minutes, there were three or four calls before for that Let's see if we can get him to answer I'm calling on three lines right now two on speaker one of them already hung up Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, what are you waiting on? It's a limited time offer, and time is running out. Hurry. What's up, girlfriend? How you doing? You make any new friends this afternoon? Hmm? It's okay. You can talk. I'm already listening over there anyway. Hmm. Are you shy? Here, how about if I do it this way? Now he's blocked. 
one of them. The phone is ringing so much in their office right now that he can't even, like, they can't even answer all of the lines that are ringing. That's what's happening. And they've blocked this number permanently now. Listen. As soon as it answers, it just clicks it. That means they blocked it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Oh, they cut it off. They were listening externally, I think, and they could hear. Now they've blocked them both. They blocked all three of mine. Now it's up to you guys. Um, we win. Sorry, champ. Uh, it was fun. I about wore myself out trying to talk like Beverly for an hour. <coughs> <coughs> the good news is they have the rest of the shift off. They're done. They ain't making no more calls uh, for the remainder. Uh, and we win. And that's how it's done, boys and girls. That's what we do here every day. If you haven't clicked the follow button yet, what the hell are you waiting on right now? You should be clicking the follow button right now. If you haven't followed the YouTube channel, you should do that too. Ruck Fobel calls. The reason you need to do that is in the bizarre event that TikTok moderation gets it wrong and gives me the old, you can go straight over there and continue watching. Uh, we've already had one of those today and then we got reinstated and went live again. Uh, that's number one. Number two, if heaven forbid something big should happen to TikTok as a platform and government officials do something crazy, um, we'll still have that. That's going to be the go-to. So go subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Just click that subscription button and that way uh, you'll have access to all of this. Plus, if you like what you just saw, we do this every day. Monday to Friday from 11 a.m. Central till usually only about 2.30 or so, uh, maybe 3 o'clock. But uh, we had some long calls, including that very last one. So um, there's hundreds, thousands of hours of this kind of stuff on the YouTube channel. You should go give it a follow right now. Um, could they hear me? Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's only that's a word. Well, I only have one word for you, sir. Boop. That's the word. What time do you start You're in the UK? Uh, it's 11 a.m. Central time in the U.S., so it'd be 7 p.m. UK. The ring change. Very good, Manda, for remembering that. Effectively, what it is is you're dialing into a number, and that when you hear it change, it's one of two things. It either means it's going to a different line. So it's being forwarded like a conditional call forwarding type deal, or it's going to voicemail. Most of the time when you hear it, like in that situation, when we were hearing it, it rings once and then the ring changes on the second ring. What's happening is you're dialing a number. It goes into the computer. The computer then uh, routes it out to any one of however many call center agents they have ready to go. Uh, if it's in a call center environment, they have a, you know, a floor full of people making, you know, when you hear the really busy sounding call centers, that's what that is. And there could be 20, 40, 50, a hundred people, uh, in a big boiler room setting. Um, and whoever is available, whoever's first in line or next in line gets it. Um, if, um, if you call in and it, they're, everybody's busy or it's a really small deal or whatever, it could just go to voicemail. Or as what sounded like the case here, there's a handful of people who have their own individual phones and it just goes boop to them and it's being transferred from the original number you dialed. It's being forwarded to this person's either cell phone or desk phone or whatever. Uh, YouTube is this right here, Ruck Fobel Calls.
Uh, if you like the hats and the shirts and all the gear that I wear all the time, it's available at rookphobocalls.com. You can find it there. Um, Mishi, good rule of thumb. Don't mention them. It's best if we don't say anybody's names. Uh, because certain scammers don't have access to that, but they have access to this. And I just don't want them getting any flack. Just bought a hat. Awesome, Gina. Thank you very much. Do you wear it backwards or forwards? Uh, I'm curious. If the scammer actually gets into your computer, they obviously can steal any personal information. Um, so then do they use that blackmail to send you to send the money? They can take videos, pictures, and blackmail you or extort you that way. They can also uh, get user IDs and passwords. They'll try to get into your bank. They'll try to get into uh, anything that can get into social media online is a big one. Just wanted to let you know, Tumblr is amazing. Ice didn't melt all day while at work. Are you talking about the Ruck Fobble Calls Tumblr? That's awesome. Is that what that is that I see in your profile picture? That's dope. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. Going to order some gear soon, dude. Popular number four. I haven't even looked at that hardly all day. Not since we got back from the little, our little excursion there. Five, three, four. Oh yeah. Golly. Look at number three, number two, and number one. Y'all to give you a frame of reference. I've been on for over five hours, five hours and 15 minutes. I am number uh, four in the popular rankings of all the people live on TikTok right now. And I have like 500,000 points, right? And I don't know what those points equate to. There's some formula they calculate them. And I'm number four. The person that's number one has a, a million. So they literally have twice as much as I do. I appreciate you guys sharing me. I appreciate, guys, this is about awareness. More eyes on the content, less people get scammed. Less people get scammed, we're all better for it. That's, uh, yeah, uh, there's a reason for that, XO. Uh, pretty popular here on this platform for those who don't watch TikTok Rook. Family is big here. It is. Yes, thanks, Stag, for posting the link. Um, there's a link in my bio on TikTok, guys. It has everything. I talked about the kit earlier where you can turn robocalls. Again, robocallers meaning telemarketers, not scammers, not the people that are trying to steal from you, the people that are trying to sell you stuff, auto warranties, student loan forgiveness, um, solar panels, they want to buy your house, sell your house, all those kinds of things. Go check it out. There's a link in the bio. You can go uh, click on it and it'll take you there. It'll also take you to all my socials, which you should be following anyway, just because you like me a at least a little. You've hung out for a little while today, right? You love your hoodie. I love the hoodie too. I don't remember who it was. It's hard for me to keep track because there's so many people, but somebody got a hoodie. It's never happened before. And like in the scene, the stitching came undone. It was like that, like there was a hole that big. So um, it was a pain. Uh, but message me if you're watching because I've fixed the issue. And thank you for everybody that shared the live. Thank you for everybody that uh, did all this stuff, uh, except for the scammer that I just blocked who shared the live. Um, and I knew she was a scammer because I could tell from her name and her profile picture. Her. Um, and then when I saw that after all this time being in here, hasn't followed me. It's not a guarantee, but when you start adding up things, uh, where can I find the form for a bracelet? If you are a paid subscriber, message me. Yeah, I mean, you could sell it in theory, but still waiting on your bracelet. If you haven't gotten it yet, message me. I'm not going to be able to do anything until after. As a matter of fact, don't message me yet. Wait till I get back from New York because I don't want all the messages clogged up with all the stuff. Let me get back from New York. I'll be back Sunday night, I guess. Uh, and next week, I'll start sending out another round. We had a nightmare time sending these things out. Uh, but I think we've kind of cracked the code now. And uh, we'll resend and, and do some things differently. So. 
Can you do a hoodie for Beverly? I need to make some individual character merch, but I we'll see. So, all right, guys. Uh, and I'm on a jet. Uh, I love you guys. If And every creator gets on here and says, you know, I love you and your family and all this kind of shit. I mean it when I say it. Um, because I, it is not lost on me that what I do here is made possible almost entirely through your either viewership, all the taps on the screen, all of the, thank you, Dita, all the taps, the likes, of course, gifts and stuff, but not just that, um, sharing the live, giving me the follows, sharing the content, most importantly with friends, family, coworkers, people that you like, love, or vaguely care about. Uh, because again, more eyes, less scams, baby. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at some people here. Um, if you've never been here for the end of the lives, uh, I say the same thing every day, and it's important. I want you guys to listen. If you've never heard it before, if you have, listen again. Pay close attention. Try to apply it for your Thursday, your Friday, and um, throughout the weekend. Just a reminder: no live stream tomorrow. Uh, no scam baiting live stream tomorrow or Friday because I'll be in New York. My wife and I are flying to New York, going to TikTok headquarters right there in Times Square. We're staying in Times Square and uh, we will be going live periodically, certainly not for four or five hours at a time. Um, but we, oh, you don't want to see the haircut right now because my hair is not fixed. It's, it's just all mashed down right now. I'll fix it. You'll see me without a hat on when we go to TikTok uh, in, in New York. Um, and then we'll do Saturday night cocktails with the Comptons, a modified version. Cause we're going to be, um, again, we're going to be there at TikTok in times square and, uh, there'll be some game shows and stuff like that. I'll try to, I'll try to give you guys as much of a heads up. I will mods. I will make sure that you know what's happening and when, as much as I am able to do so. Um, and now listen to the thing that I say at the end of every live stream because it's important. Love yourselves and love each other. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I firmly believe in my heart of hearts that we can overcome any challenge, any adversity, solve any problem that we face as a human collective. If we just do those four very simple things, love yourselves, love each other, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Until next time, guys. 11 a.m. Monday and all the times that I go live this weekend, book phone calls.